Ah, uh, yes, chat. Welcome, welcome. Please, come in. Is that, is that an umbrella in your hand? Is it... What's that in your hand? No, 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 don't put it behind your, behind your back. Show me what's in your hand now. See that guy over there, chat? We got a dirty rule breaker here. We got a dirty rule breaker here, chat. Why don't we show them what we do to rule breakers here? Why, why don't we show them? On, Sh show them. I don't know what to do. You're the one you kept saying every time that you knew what to do when a rule breaker showed up. You assured me. You literally assured me. You said you knew. This never happens, I swear. Just go, just leave. Just get out. Just leave, go back out the way you came. Ah, while well, I crack open this cold one. Ah, damn. Oh yeah, I'm only one away. I'm only one away, brother. Is it sparkling water? No, because I'm not a fucking idiot. All right. We're going to play this uh, this game today. It's like a pawn shop management game where you uh, buy shit from people and sell it back to other people for less money than you bought it for. Uh, like an idiot. Like an idiot that doesn't know what business is. Uh, should be a good time. It's got like a long story. So we might like check it out for a bit and then play the challenge mode so that we can see what like the gameplay would be like if we had everything unlocked like later on because there's also a mode that like just lets you play just the the part where you sell things. So I'll probably do a little bit of both. Because the game's like fucking 16 hours long and that's just not happening. It's just not. It just won't. Oh, dude. I'll be streaming tomorrow as well. We'll be getting a, we'll be getting a stream in. Okay. And then... I won't be here on Friday. I just won't be. I'll be gone on Friday and back on Saturday, and then I'll be gone again on Sunday. He lied? What do you mean I lied? Did I say I'd be going all week? Yeah, that's almost always a lie. But uh, hey, I went four days in a row. That's better than the last time. That'd be better than the last time. You get more powerful every time. No D&D? &D? No. What do you mean no D&D? &D? Unless, if there's no D&D, &D, I would tell you if there's no D&D. &D. They don't run at the same time. <laughs> they never have. They literally never have. There's a week off next week. Well, that's fine. That doesn't change this week. The week that I'm talking about. And that doesn't affect me, nor any of you right now. So I'm confused. I'm confused what the problem is right now. You guys are confusing me. This is why I don't read you properly anymore. I just don't. I was actually just talking to Brett about my character. It's gonna be a fun character. No one has actually gotten it correct what my character is specifically and it's kind of funny. 
It's kind of funny, dude. No one's gotten it perfectly right. Not one person. actually kind of pathetic happy blade birthday tomato thanks it is my birthday you're gonna hurt the team even more I've never hurt the team okay not once has my character personally attacked anyone on the team nor would they okay they're a kind soul they're a gentle being Taint Stein, thanks for the gifted sub. Thanks. 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 Didn't they try to eat a party mate? Yeah, but that party mate is what I would call almost borderline uh, trying to kill themselves. Uh, <laughs> it's not on me what happens to them. At this point, it's on them. It's like poking a bear that's sleeping and being like, I wonder how many times I can poke it before it gets really mad and eats me. And just they just keep poking it, even once the bear is awake and really mad. And eventually, I'm just going to be like, I roll attack. And we're just going to have to deal with that. Eventually, I will escalate. I try to kill it. <laughs> Look, it's Lena's first time playing D and D. She has time to figure it out, and nothing really, nothing really strikes the fear of God in you quite like uh, getting chunked by a by, by someone else and almost killed. So they'll figure it out. They'll figure out that like eating stuff off the ground and feeding it to other party members is probably going to end up backfiring at some point. And that'll be a great day. I'll have a big smile on my face. Can you tell us if slime is going to escalate this next session? I will never say. I may not even do any moves. I may not even have a class. I have no, I have no contributions to make. Mm -mm -mm. Just none. So all secrets. Would you get XP if they kill the bear and you don't contribute? We're not playing XP. We're playing Milestone. And also, yes, because I'm playing in a group of friends. And Brett isn't about to say, Um, you didn't hit the bear. You don't level. You don't get any XP. You have to get hidden. Actually, the rules say you have to get a hit on the bear. Or you can't get any XP. You get nothing. You lose. Um, I just checked your damage on the damage meter. It says you're in the bottom five of the damage, which means I'm not going to be able to give you any loot this time, dude. I just can't. There are the people that are outperforming you on the on the raid team, and they're going to be getting the loot this time. But if you keep focusing, maybe we can give you some hand-me-downs when we get the chance, and, you know, maybe you'll catch up. Here's two DKP. Wow, dude. <laughs> wow, dude. Thanks. Don't spend it all in one place, my guy. Single bit bit again. <laughs> it's not even a bit out of the
This is such a fun game. Good call. I'm hoping it is. I know it's got a lot of like story front loaded, which is why I'm glad there's a, like a mode that lets us just play the game as well. So if I'm like, oh man, I really want to get to the game, we can just do that. So I always like it when games include that. When they have a lot of story. It's one of my favorites. Tomato, your cam is on. I do look about that sad, probably. And I probably, and I am wearing a hoodie. And I do love me some Mindos 2000. But my ears don't look anywhere near elf enough. I got like elf looking ears, dude. And my nose is a little too wide in that one. Got a more narrow nose. And like my pecs just are not there. My pecs just are missing. Like my muscle isn't there. My broad shoulders absent. Huge body is just missing from this one. Strength to just snap a disc in half in a moment's notice. You open that Mindos 2000 box, you're just gonna find a disc snapped in two. You're just gonna find a disc snapped in two. That's right, because I'm a psycho. Dude, you ever just like be using your uh, your clothes and then the zipper just breaks while you're just like sitting there? Like what just happened to me? This is fucked. This cannot be happening. Oh, it's just broken. It's just ruined. Oh, all right. These pants are just ruined now. <laughs> Damn it. My day sucks, dude. This sucks. The whole day has been going bad and now it's just from bad to worse. Fat LMAO, it's not like the, it's not the waist one. It's like the, you know, you wear like, uh, like workout pants or like any kind of athletic pants and they have like the zipper by like the, like the end of the leg by like the shoes. That one fucking broke. Uh, and it's just annoying now cause I don't like my, I don't like my ankles so exposed. I don't like them, this is garbage now. No? Dude, imagine outing yourself as, like, not ever working out ever. Imagine. Just, just buy the pants just so you can fake it. <laughs> bro, you, bro, you don't go to the gym, bro? You don't pump, bro? Now everyone can see my ankles. Scandalous. Scandalous. I unironically had a pair of pants with a fly zipper snapped and I just stapled it shut. Dude, if I was out for the day and it happened to me, you bet your ass I'm going to staple that thing. But I wore a belt because I'm not a, like a... I wear a belt to hold my pants up as well. But yeah, I wouldn't want anyone to see my unmentionables. You know what I mean? I wouldn't want anyone to notice my unmentionables. Hey, this thing kind of looks like a fucking... A little bit like a, a little bit like a penis, huh? Sorry, that was just like a little side thing I noticed just now. Uh, but the thing is, dude. All right, I would absolutely. <laughs> I would probably staple it. Does it a little bit? It did when it was like this. When it was like that. Now I look at it, kind of looks. No, it kind of still looks a little bit phallic. I got, look, I got, I got cocks on the brain. I don't know what to say. All right. I just constantly do. Ah. All this gym talk, am I right? <laughs> yeah. All this talk about the gym. Yeah. Ah. 
Happy birthday, streamer. Thanks. This game is confusing me a bit, but I'll still watch. Well, thanks, uh, Water Bottle Person Gaming. Uh, I really was worried. That was one of my main concerns today, honestly, waking up. I was hoping you wouldn't get too confused. Wait, is that THE Water Bottle Person Gaming? Hold up! Everyone shut up! I think that might be the real one! Toxic. I'm toxic about this. I would I literally wouldn't be able to do this without water bottle person game. Literally. Hydrate before you die, Drake. You know, that is true. That's a good one. That's a good one, Fishy. That's a good one. All right. We said that a ton in boot camp, LMAO. I'll take your word for it. Hey, little boof pack. 20 gifted subscriptions to the channel. That's awfully kind. That's like super duper kind. Thanks. Really appreciate that. That's really kind of you. There are a lot of people gifting subs lately. Thank you. Billy Bob Cletus with another five gifted subs. I don't know what the deal is. I do not know what I did, but thanks. It's my birthday. <laughs> I gotta be honest about something. I gotta come out and just be real with you again. I feel like I have to do this every little bit. It's not really my birthday. It's not. It just isn't. It never was. I don't have one again until August. I fucked up. I fucked up. Someone said happy birthday and I just rolled with it. I just ran with it. I, ran, I grabbed the ball and I ran as hard as I could. I stomped on and stepped over anyone in my way to get here. Uh, and I regret it now, now that I've gotten all the money. Now that I've now that I've succeeded with the lie. Uh now I regret it. No no refund. No refund. Blood Vinta takes with a thousand bits. Thank you, thank you. Honesty bits. Ooh, am I gonna get like am I gonna get money now for just simply being honest? Like, just, like, no one was going to catch me in the lie, but I decided to come out of the lie myself. And now, you know, audiences everywhere are cheering because I've I've really shown, you know, another side of me, a, a more, you know, human side than ever before. Alpaca Stud Muffin, thanks for the 20 gifted subs. That's really, really kind of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. So brave. <laughs> so brave. Chills. <laughs> uh, you see, what's funny is that, like, I know we do, like, the birthday bit here. Ha ha he he. It's not really my birthday. Of course it's not. Like, bit. Someone out there truly has lied about their birthday on Twitch in order to get some early cash. And then probably did truly have to worry about it. People would remember years down the line. When they like had to reveal their when their actual birthday was found out, you know. Tomato, did you lie about your birthday? It's really August thirty first, chat. It really is. It. <laughs> It really is, dude. I just don't know what else to say. No, 
August 31st, you're so young. What? What? <laughs> what? What the, what does that mean? Hey, Dorito Enema, the worst name on Twitch, officially the worst one. Thank you for gifting five subs to the channel. Thanks for the money. God damn, I'm still reeling from what that person said. <laughs> August 31st, you're so young. <laughs> My brain just like, that like stun locked me. I just don't know how, what to think anymore. <laughs> he got social hacked. Yeah. <laughs> Younger people are born in August. It's a fact. Check it. Check it. Check it, idiot streamer. Check it. Imagine being born early in the year. Damn, what the fuck? Everyone born in August dies young, tomato. How old are you? Everyone with left-handed, that's like left-handed also statistically dies before right-handed people. So like, I've got a double whammy and I'm already feeling my body crumble. If anyone wants to give me like, you know, any last things you want to say to me before the end, I feel like it's gonna happen. I feel like it's coming. Taller people also die younger. All right, so here's my here's my downsides that are really taking away some lifespan from me. Uh, let's see, tall, check. That's minus 30 years, apparently. Left-handed, check. That's minus another 20 years or so. All right, we're down 50. We're down 50. I have always assumed that the pretty solid age to bite it is around 80. So I I've got to like 30 years old. Uh, if it wasn't for the fact that, you know, I'm also born in August, which subtracts another five years into the... <clears throat> Do I have anything else that should be subtracting time? I, I, I stubbed my toe, uh, yesterday. Glasses. Glasses make you statistically more likely to die. You're right. And I'm completely bald! <laughs> and I got a huge ass, dude. I've got a gigantic dumpy, which means that, like, you know, Wild animals, like feral wild animals, are more likely to attack and eat me than another human because they can see the flesh on my bones is, you know, plentiful. It'll be a full meal for them. Damn it, dude. I've got like 18 different things bringing me down. You're also a streamer. True, that means that. Oh God. Oh my God. I'm already dead. Huh. Damn, dude. Streamer equals quality of life goes down. I mean, look, chat. Sure, my 
my quality of life is, I, I don't know, dude. My quality of life's okay. I got a, I got a life. It's got some quality. Okay. I have some, I have some quality in life. Like what? <laughs> Wouldn't you all like to know? Wouldn't you all like to know? I'm alive. That's one quality. Okay. I, I, I've got like, I've got a nice computer set up. I've got some nice internet. That's good quality. Live in a nice neighborhood. No one's tried to kill me yet. All right. Got a good coffee maker. I live in Massachusetts, so the government fucks me. <laughs> so that's a negative. We can take off most of my quality of life right there. Tomato, you live in the woods. I don't know if that counts as a nice neighborhood. The animals protect me, as if I was their own. Do you have a mailbox, though? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? So you can steal it again, you fucking asshole? How do you feel about Brady unretiring? I don't know how to describe how little I care about Brady in general. <laughs> I just don't care about sports. <laughs> Who? I don't know. My dad cried. I didn't remember asking. <laughs> Damn. Dude, it's like, what do you want me to do about it? I cannot help with that. I just can't. I can't. I feel bad for the guy who paid $500,000 for his last football. That's fucked up. Dude, imagine someone saying they're retiring, you pay a billion dollars for the like last thing, and then they say like they go psych a day later and just come back, and you're sitting there with the fucking now worthless ball. That's embarrassing. You know, I don't feel bad for you. I don't. That's pathetic. Don't buy stupid things. You deserve to lose your money. Also, if they can afford to buy that buy something that expensive, they probably have a billion dollars, and it just doesn't matter to them. It's probably like tossing away like quarters to someone. Tomato, I need to leave the stream to eat for a little bit. Don't be funny until I get back. Make me. Fuck, now like the pressure's on. Is he ever? <sighs> ah, boy. It's gonna be one of those days. It's gonna be one of those days. <laughs> Doing so well. Don't bully him, Chet. It's his one weakness, thinking he isn't funny. Uh-uh, I'm funny. I, I, I know I am. I know I am. Remember, everyone remember that one time? No. Oh. I think I've gotten objectively less funny over the last, like, three weeks. Maybe ten. Maybe the last year. It might be the whole last year. 
Maybe two. Disagree. Well, that's nice of all of you. So this is how I uh, this is how I pad my self esteem is by saying something like that, and then a bunch of people say that's not true, and then I go, "Ha, gotcha." It's like a, it's like it's like a it's like the easiest thing in the world. Last week was great though. I barely streamed last week. <laughs> Just going like, dude, two weeks ago you fucking killed it, and it's the week I took off. You little bastard. Exactly. Top 700 streamer realizes he's washed. Shut up! Shut up. You'll all see. Top 800 streamer bullied by his own chat. I gotta stop reading these. <laughs> My my net worth goes down hundreds of thousands whenever I just acknowledge that I dropped another hundred like streamer points. Like, <laughs> like the banks just immediately siphon my money away, thinking I just won't notice. My stocks are falling. My stocks are falling. We gotta sell. Tomato is definitely one of the streamers of all time. Thanks. Thanks. I'll take it. You know what? I'll take it. At least you still have your perfect SEO. Yeah. At least when you look up tomato on Google, you find me on page 12. At least there's that. Page 14 right now, though. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine, dude. Only six pages below Tomato Fortnite. That's not true. We both know you're lying. Why would you lie about that? We both know that's not true. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> I don't know why you'd lie. Don't know why you'd lie about something that's so easy to check. It's the truth, streamer. Now you think me a fool? <laughs> Think me a fool? Hang on. Google.com. I'm gonna find it myself and show you on a totally clean web browser. Okay. I'm gonna find it. Page one, nothing. Page two, nothing. Ghost town. Page three. It's silent. Completely silent. Page four. Uh. Uh oh. Hang on. Page five. Um. Um. Page six. It's where a lot of people say I start to show up. It's always page seven. Um, may I page eight? <clears throat> mm. Uh, page, uh, page nine. It's always page nine. Who's going to Tomato Art Fest, dude? This is bullshit. Why is that above me? I, 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 who cares? <laughs> who fucking cares about Tomato Art Fest? Uh, page 10.
There's a website on here called uh, tomatonews.com. Uh, the information on the site for and about the global tomato processing industry. And it has a notification by Google on it that says the site may be hacked. And it's above me. It's absolutely above me. I continue to scroll. Uh, page 11. There I am, dude! There I am! Page 11! Just above Urban Dictionary! I'm more popular than Urban Dictionary, motherfucker! Alright? How about you step the fuck off before I kick you down a couple pegs? Alright? Not even page 10. Chat, I wasn't checking to see what page I was on. I was checking to see what page I was on in, you know, relation to the Fortnite one. Because that's the part that I cared about. I needed to make sure that they weren't before me. And they're not. Which means I win. And you lose. <laughs> I'm the best. Right on. I didn't get either of you at all before Google just gave up. We both know you're lying. Why would you lie? Google lets you get like 900,000 pages in. You're a liar. Why would you lie? Everyone search tomato Fortnite right now. That's a felony. All right? That's, that's a genuine felony. You can't fuck up the SEO like that. It's a felony. You'll get in big trouble. Can't Google Bob like this. It's a brand crime. That's like looking up Tomato Fortnite and then looking for my channel and like clicking on it there. Or like looking up Tomato, finding Tomato Fortnite on my search engine, like it's my search, and clicking on them instead of me to push them above me. But you wouldn't do that because of what would happen if you did. Huh? Don't worry about it. Just don't do that. It auto-corrected to Tomato Fortnite for me. I'm 12, by the way. <laughs> no, it didn't! It's insane streamer says tomatoes are his search. <laughs> Ignores centuries of culinary history. People are over tomatoes, the food, all right, chat? They just are. You don't need to look up more things about them. We figured it out. We figured them out already. <laughs> when I clicked on Tomato Twitch, it redirected me to Tomato Fortnite. That's wild. Only my streamer is jealous of a fruit. Dude. You know, legally, tomatoes are recognized by the Supreme Court as a vegetable, and anyone that thinks otherwise is un-American. Wait out yourself. Yeah, look it up. Legally, Supreme Court recognized them as vegetables like an insane group of people. Uh, imagine the Supreme Court just coming out and being like, yeah... Yeah, it's, we're going to say it's this. Just because. My country. I get chills whenever I tell somebody that. <laughs> get chills.
Botanists hate him. Yeah, well, botanists can go to hell. Ketchup is a smoothie. See, chat, this is the world you want to live in. The world the fucking commies want you to live in. One word. <laughs> One word. Ketchup is a smoothie. Do you understand? Pizza is a pie. It is. Oh, yeah. Wait. Hold up. Wait. No. Wait. No, that's fine. There's plenty of other kinds of pies. Tomato Fortnite wouldn't say this. Dude. It's because they don't have the balls. I like just taking swings at this person. I have no idea who the fuck they are other than the fact that there is someone with a name that is close to my name with Fortnite attached to it. And that is the only thing they've done wrong. That's the only thing they've done to me. I've never spoken to them. I've never interacted with them. I will likely never interact with them. But there is a chance that at some point they have seen one of these things of me just like talking shit about them for no reason. And like they may miss the parts where I just say, and I also don't know who they are and do not really care. And that's okay. I don't, we never have to know each other. And they just think I hate them. Because I do. stepped into my court in the SEO battleground. You made a big mistake. Should have thought about that when you picked your username, motherfucker. All right. Because I already have to compete with the pancake old, like the old pancake person. Okay. I'll take down anyone that comes after my number two spot. Okay. I'll take down anyone. Tomato Fortnite has a charity to send wiener dogs to college. <laughs> what? What? Damn, dude. I cannot keep up with that. There's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> Damn, dude. Damn! They need to get an education too. He uploads daily. Get on that grind if you want to beat him. <clears throat> He uploads daily? Wait, what? I mean, I, 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 if you count the streams I do and also the VOD channel uploads, I upload daily. I'm, I'm kind of a daily influence on the world. I'm kind of active in my community. Top 900 streamer questions, charity for wiener dogs. Can we stop this now? Reuploads don't count. Yes, they do, because the VOD, people in the VOD channel don't even know I stream. 90% of them are like new viewers that like I got from YouTube promoting the VOD channel. They have no idea Twitch exists. So yeah, checkmate, okay? <laughs> they, this may be their first realization that I do something on a site that isn't like YouTube. They just think I'm talking to the void. What is, uh, Twitch? They skipped this part anyways. True. True. Tr dangerously true. They didn't even have the intros for the longest time. Yeah, then they got all angry when I added the intros. And then they got even angrier when Avad wouldn't have the intro for some reason because they thought that I was taking it away from the match they gave it to me, even though they got angry when I gave it to them. They're like, it's like, it's like, it's like a two-year-old. <laughs> or like a really like energetic, like dog. Like a really just a confused, angie dog.
I'm sending my dog to college. Dude, you're at the wrong fucking chat. I'm not Tomato Fortnite. I don't care about your dog's college fund. I'll go on record and say that. Get out. <laughs> Get out. Get out! What record? You know, the record. But he deserves higher education. I don't know, dude. I think if dogs got any smarter, they'd start trying to compete with us. Yeah, I'm just not interested. I'm just not interested. I just don't care. You changed, man. The world changed. The world changed. Hang on. Hang on. People are saying things. Hang on. Google says you are tomato Fortnite, though. What? What are you talking about? No. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. No, this can't be happening. This can't be happening. How could this happen to me? Why? The random rare skin challenge in Fortnite. How am I supposed to keep up with this? Dude, Fortnite except I only use Clombo loot? I don't know what Clombo is. I literally can't do this. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, everyone shut up. He doesn't know what Clombo is. I don't... Oh, thank God. All right, when I look up tomato twitch... Okay. I see me. And I don't see any whispers about anyone else. I don't see anything about anyone else. Hang on, I gotta click on one of this guy's videos for a second. I have oh my god! Dude, Fortnite, you get a lot of, you get a lot of views when you make Fortnite, dude. We should watch some of his videos. <laughs> We're gonna learn a thing or two, dude. This guy's getting like 200,000 views on a video he uploaded like a day ago. I should steal some of his content. I'm just an old man. He won't punch down at me. He could react to Andy. It. He stole your name. It's only fair, which is wild because I, I, when they made that channel, I did the thing I always do when someone tries to make a channel with my name, and I say, if you even try, I will, I will literally ruin your life. I will find everyone you care about, and I will destroy them. I will destroy everything you know. And they didn't reply to the email. And then I did destroy their, I, I destroyed everyone they care about. I did. I'll go on record and I say, I did that. I did do that. And they just didn't care. <laughs> so, so they won. They won. I did destroy everything. They just did not care. And they didn't even like, they, were, they didn't even like get phased. Yeah. <laughs> I paid the price <laughs> Man, I'm a psycho, dude Like, e e even though it's all jokes, dude I'm I must come off like a fucking insane person sometimes <laughs> uh. Oh, man
sometimes, only sometimes. Top comment on his video. Let's appreciate how much effort he puts in for us. Dude, I wish I could be even a little bit like Tomato Fortnite, you know? I just wish. Don't we all? I wish I could grow facial hair like that guy. Damn. I really look up to him. You will never be on his level. Never. Never. Shut up, streamer. You'll never get there. Dude, you just gotta stay out of my way on Twitch, all right? I don't care about YouTube anymore. YouTube can go to hell. All right, YouTube can frick off. Excuse my language. But, comes over here. I might just get a little bit PO'd. Okay, no, I, I don't wanna go on record and sound like I'm threatening like a YouTuber. <laughs> Please come by, we can collab. We can collab. You can show me how to play Fortnite. Please. We can play Fortnite together, I'd love to. Tomatoes. Do a Fortnite stream for April Fools. Why would I do that? Because it's not a joke. All right. Chad, I'm going to be, if I'm going to collab with world famous, world renowned uh, YouTuber, uh, Tomato Fortnite, it's not going to be a fucking joke. All right. I'm going to be doing it seriously. All right. Have some goddamn respect. The guy's like a millionaire. <laughs> okay. I demand you respect them. You're the joke to him, though. You just made my dog angry, you hear that? You made my dog furious. Barking. <laughs> Dogs can't be angry. They're not educated. You're right. You, you physically can't be without <laughs> without a degree. That's just that's just confusion. You don't have the education to understand what your emotions are telling you. They can be wrathful though. No dog college for them. I'm not sending my dog to no college. All right. They're going to work at the family business just like everyone else before them. Don't need no college for that. Teach them everything they need to right here. This is why Tomato Fortnite doesn't like you. You think they're just avoiding me because I haven't sent my dog to college? And I've gone on record saying I don't think they should go to college? Ziploc McBaggins, thanks for gifting a sub. That's a singular tier three sub. That means you get the funny sound. Nice. It kills me every time, dude. I love that fucking sound. I don't know what it's from. I didn't watch that stream. I don't get the reference, but whatever. I love it. When you look up Tomato Fortnite, there's a button that says, what's Tomato Fortnite's real name? And there's a picture of you. 
Oh, that actually fucking made me wince. Come on, dude! I like, here's the thing though, this disease on my SEO, this tumor on my SEO, even as I would describe it, this, this malignant growth that has fucked up my SEO has leaked into my friends as well, because I see here in the tomato Fortnite search that I also, uh, it's also, people are also asking at the same time what Kraken's real name is. So it's like, this is not just a me problem. This is going to eventually reach a point where everyone is tomato Fortnite. <laughs> Whether they like it or not, everyone will be tomato Fortnite. It's spreading. Tomato Fortnite has the SEO problem. You know, that might be true. We might be looking at this the wrong way. We might be the thorn in their side at this point that they can't get rid of. Because no matter how far you go, my branding is more broad. And therefore, no matter what they do, I will always have a little bit of a hook in everything. You know? I'm the bad guy. <laughs> now start selling merch to spite him. Dude, I don't know how to make merch uh, at all. And the concept of making merch scares me. Uh, and that is why I may never do it. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work that... It's a lot of work. Nana 2020, thanks for the 1900 bits. They say, hell yeah, dude. That's my top streamer. Fortnite world champ. It's me. I'm the world champ. What if I just make my... You think Epic will come after me if I make my uh, merch, like... The Tomato Town guy. I'm just really cut into that SEO. Because I'm going to get double if I cut into like everyone else's SEO. And they'll get me. Do you think they'd get me fast enough to stop me? Or. Do you think they'd go after Tomato Fortnite? Think about it. Think about it. Who the fuck are they gonna go after if they see someone trying to sell tomato Fortnite merch? Tomato gaming or tomato Fortnite? <laughs> this is the perfect crime. Why, when you look up tomato 90% of the time, it comes with a tomato Fortnite anyways. I am a ghost in the fucking wire, dude. I am a ghost in the wire. You can't find me. I disappear. Poof. <laughs> Stop saying hi to the VOD chat now. You don't need to, nor do I want you to. See people do that, they'll go like, hi YouTube, stop that. Don't. Chat. I'm gonna go bath and then we're gonna play the umbrella game, all right? It might take me a little bit. I'm getting old. It takes me a long time to get out of the chair and walk all the way to the bathroom. You know me, all right? My, my knees aren't what they used to be. So, uh, you know, I'll be back in like 12 to 13 minutes. And if I'm not back by then, call an ambulance. Wait, maybe don't. Call an Uber for me. Yeah. Yeah. Call me like an Uber. Be right back.
I'm back. I'm back. I'm sorry I fucking fell all over the ground in my bathroom. And then my whole toilet roll fell into the toilet, which was um actually real, and I'm not faking it. The falling on the ground part I did fake. The toilet roll falling into my whole toilet uh, was not fake. That was real. I've never pull, I've never had to grab half of my, like the dry half of my toilet roll and pull it out of the toilet and just be like, this is all garbage. This is, <laughs> this is, this is so bad. It's never happened to me before. You still going to use it? No, it's in a garbage can. But I also like str like strategically hit it beneath a bunch of paper towel because I don't want anyone to go into the bathroom and see what happened. Wasteful. Chat, I am not going to use my half-dipped fucking toilet bowl toilet paper. Okay? I'm just not. I'm not going to air dry it or blow dry the toilet paper either. That shit's ruined. Cut off the wet part. Cut off the wet part. Question mark. Put it in the oven to dry. Chat, there's nothing more vile than trying to imagine your life, if I'm going to be honest. It makes me feel it, like the decisions that you would make in your life make me question everything about like the, the world I think I know. Okay, because the fucking idea that someone would like that you'd grab like tongs or something, pull the toilet paper, the wet fucking ball of toilet paper. Like the roll out of the toilet, pull it into your fucking kitchen where you cook food to eat. Your wet toilet bowl water, toilet paper, you pull it into the goddamn kitchen, open your oven on convect and fucking heat up your toilet paper to dry it off. Might be one of the wildest things I've ever imagined. You're a sick freak. Oh my God, I am just imagining like a, oh. <sighs> Toilet water is sterile. You are disgusting. You're disgusting. You're disgusting. <laughs> well, how about you? How about you go drink out of your toilet right now? Hmm? If you think it's so sterile. <laughs> what do you think is in my cup? Oh. Oh. told me to drink from the toilet again mom think about think about the life you live think about what you may leave behind when you die chat think about if like when we die in the future Bezos on the house sends our loved ones a fucking scroll like just a text file of all of our twitch interactions and think about what might show up on yours okay that's all I'm gonna say it says here that grandpa drank toilet water it says here he reused it he recycled his own toilet paper because he didn't want to waste any Happy National No Selfies Day, Tomato. Thanks. 
Spot. Thanks, Pum. Thanks. All right, chat. We're gonna play some no umbrellas allowed, okay? I mean, leave your umbrellas at the door. You try to bring any of them in, bang! That's gonna be a, that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a, that's gonna be something. That's gonna be a punishment. All right, that's all I'm gonna say. But it's raining, I don't care. I just don't care. All right. Does this game even have audio? Does my computer even have audio? The game's supposed to have audio. Oh, it's because I don't have my fucking application that makes audio happen on my computer happen. Uh, on. There it is. Lovely. So it's a game about being like a pawn shop guy. Alright. We're gonna be... People are gonna be coming into our place, they're gonna be trying to sell us trash, and I'm gonna say, thanks, sir. I'll take this. And then they say, but... You have to pay me for that. And I'll say, thanks, sir. I'll take this. And then I push them out the door. And they start banging on the windows. You haven't paid me for it yet. And I'll say, thanks, sir. I'll be taking this. And then I lock the door and pull the blinds. I'll be taking this then. New game. 2080, Adric City. This is a game about being in a pawn shop, by the way. And it's opened with a burning inferno and a massive explosion. Last night, there was a massive explosion at Citizens Alliance Research Industu Institute at in Central Bunker District. Due to the explosion, most of the artificial rain tech files and the fixer manufacturing facilities were all lost. Artificial rain. <clears throat> you mean water? What what does uh, what constitutes as artificial rain? I mean The government and the Association of Victims of Avarice Crimes have announced that they need at least eight more weeks to resume the Fixerain project. For now, Agic City, the last city waiting for the Fixerain, will be staying dry for a few more weeks. A bummer. Hello? What's happening? Hey, are you dead? Ah! Ah! P please! Help me! Oh, Shh. An AVAC guy's coming. I'm Dal Pang Joe from the Association of Victims of Avarice Crimes. I just heard a strange... Ah, look at the sky tonight. More beautiful than ever, isn't it? What's wrong with him? Is he injured? Wait, is he from the Institute? No, this is my son. He's had weak legs ever since he was a child. It's normal for him, don't worry. Do you need any help? No, everything's fine. Hmm. I look dead. He's leaving. This guy's the worst. That guy's the worst. He's just leaving. My character hasn't moved! Oh my god! Help! Help! <laughs> What's all my- he wrapped my face up with like bubble wrap or something. Hey, you're awake. The doctor said your face had the worst injuries, so he covered it with bandages. You could take them off in a week, but he's not sure your face will be the same as before. Ah. I'm Darcy, just an old-timer who owns a second-hand shop nearby. 
And from this moment on, you'll be my son, Bob. Huh? But I don't... I know you're no ordinary fugitive, and AVAC will keep track of you as you show up... showed up right after the accident. So after you get back on your feet, you can manage my store pretending you're my son, Bob. I've been kidnapped into servitude. My store is on B1 of the Bad Apples building in Sing Sing Side. Just across the bridge when you are... Those are made up places. <laughs> Those aren't real. This guy's just old. He doesn't know where he is. My name's Bob. Hi everyone. Alright, we're getting some practice in right now. Hi, my name's Bob. Hi. My name is Bob. Hi, Bob. Hi. Here I am. So where the hell is... Haga City? I don't think I want to go to Haga City. Uh... Where the hell... Hey, you're new here, aren't you? You gotta pay a fee to pass through here. Oh yeah? What are you staring at? Looks like you really are new here, falling for this crap. Beat it before I really make you pay. Wait, this is pathetic. Well, I thought this was a shakedown. You're telling me all I gotta do to not get shaken down is look at you like I don't understand what you're doing and then just leave? You're really bad at this. Goodbye. Forever. Did the guy- how do I get to- how do I get to the, uh, place? Top floor. Ah, here we go. Sim Simaruk Loft. That's not my place. Move to Midlesso. By the way, aren't you here looking for a job? What for? We'll all be fixies soon, anyways. Fixies. Junk side. That might be my place. Do I have like a map? Come to Darcy's, that's on B1, Badapolis, Sim- Help. Help. This place is very pretty. I just wish I knew where I was going. I wish that old man had told me where to go because I just woke up from a horrible concussion after a gigantic bomb went off. Uh, I genuinely don't know. Is that robot getting strangled? Oh my god, help them! Something's off with this place, Chad. Something's wrong. Oh, Sing Sing Side. All right, we made it. Our destination should be somewhere. Wow, nice area. We want change. AVAC must stop rebuilding the Institute. <clears throat> Fixer can't save us. AVAC must stop oppressing citizens. I don't know what any of this means. All right, lower floor. Jim Darcy. I know Darcy. That's our guy. Never seen that floaty around. Is that Darcy's face? That's awful. Best price, best quality. Darcy's. Let's go in. Here we are. Hi, I'm Hugh. I'm an oldie who's been working here for 10 years. And you are? You look much better now. Welcome to Darcy's, the second hand shop. We've been running this place for more than 30 years. Okay. And as I told you, you are now my son, Bob, who will inherit the shop from me. This is why I picked you up from the beach. AVAC's been pestering me about his whereabouts and I needed a stand-in for Bob. You are nothing but a soulless replacement for my missing son. Yeah, after all that time, now they're looking for Bob, but... Oh, but Darcy, what if Bob comes back out of the blue? That's not gonna happen. It's been almost 10 years since he left. Bob ain't coming back. By the way, there's this. This one here is Hugh. It's got a mouth on it, but it'll be of help. Ha! Huh? Now let's start discussing what you are going to do here. Here you are going to both buy and sell things. All right? And you must stay alert at all times. Every customer wants to get paid more. That's because this place is off the grid from the citizen discourse data radar. Huh? I did that so I don't have to care about AVAC in here. There's side effects. Just as you said, customers get real shameless as soon as they come in. Anyway, today I'll teach you how to negotiate prices when buying things. That's where to start. So what do we got here, a bag? When buying things, it's really important to find a balance. It has to be a price that the customer can accept, but still makes you a profit when sold. So you can't just start yelling out prices. I'll give you $30 for it! You have to appraise the item first. Uh, all right. When it comes to pr appraising things, I use cards. <laughs> 
50 final offer. I'll take anything. Uh, customers introduce their items with cards. A gray card. Uh, all right. Base information and base price. Green card detailed information changes in price. Okay. Oh, I forgot blue cards. Unlike green cards showing objective information, blue cards show evaluations. Example, example uh, damage, popularity, or rarity of an item. Blue cards represent your opinion, so customers may protest or get mad. I don't care. To share a card with a customer, you must insert it in the card slot. All right. The combination of cards yields a price. Okay. But don't worry too much about colors. For now, focus on bargaining the price based on the cards. I said I'd pay him $30 for it. It's worth 100 bucks, huh? All right. So, uh, this bag is, uh, pretty high-end quality. Made out of cowhide right here. Uh, it's slightly damaged. It's going to lower its value by 20%. All right. All right. All right. Now you can start bargaining based on the prices these cards have set. Can you see 280V below the card slots? That's the guideline. You can suggest 280V from the start if you want to go easy, but if you want you can make a profit, you better cut it by at least one third. Okay, I can figure this out. Figure this out. I'll I'll get you, yeah, let's fucking do this. Uh, I'll give you $30 for it. <laughs> it's a nice bag. I'll give you that much. I'll pay you 30. For it right now. Alright? Take it or leave it. No receipts. We don't do those here. Not if we don't want AVAC on our trail. I don't think he took that. Alright, 25 a lot. <laughs> no, this time do as I said. Try 90. 190 V. You're really busting my balls here. I'll do 10. I'd like to offer 10. I'll give you a dollar. <laughs> I'd like to offer zero dollars. <laughs> I'd like to pay you nothing. All right, fine. <laughs> One ninety V. Good, but mostly customers won't accept your first offer. Good. Instead, they make counter offers like this. How about two hundred and forty V? Hmm. How about 180? <laughs> how about how about 180 V? 180 is the best I can do. I actually lost ten dollars just now. You can't go lower than your first offer. Are you trying to pick a fight? A squirrel just ran through the goddamn store, stole ten dollars out of the cash register. I got 180 for you. That's it. Uh. I'll do 190. It's the best I can offer. It's all the money I have. You're pretty stubborn. I'll give you that. <laughs> it's not bad, but you should try to lure them in to try a better price. 191. 191 is the best I can offer. I got a dollar in my pocket. Okay. All right. They're not going to let me do it that. They're not going to let me be that smooth. 192. It's going to be 192 for me. All right, fine, you fucking rat. Fine. Two hundy. Flat. Two hundy. Well, all right. I usually negotiate back and forth a few more times, but it's good for now. By the way, I forgot to mention what you owe me. Fix you up cost 500 V, and I gave you 1,000 V as seed money, so you owe me 1,500. Can I just give you the 500 back? What? No, no, no. No, 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 old man, who I'm posing as your, like, son for. Interest per day. I, what is this? This is, this is advanced slavery. And it's not just the debt you should worry about. If you don't have money, you won't be treated as a human being after you become a fixie. What is happening? Huh? Strictly speaking, they're not human beings. What? Anyway, to be fairly treated even after you get fixed, you have to join the Fixie Pension Plan. To join it. Oh, I forgot again the silly requirements. Just so we're clear, it's not because he's old, it's because there's more than one requirement. 
just want to pay him now. As far as I remember, you joined it by paying 10,000 V or was it 30,000? I'll let you know the details next time. First, let's make some money. And don't say anything you shouldn't when AVAC shows up. I'll kill you. No one knows who you are. Just don't get involved with them. Good luck then. Have a great day, my dearest Darcy. Wait, that I bought that then. Give me that back. Fuck. He took the bag. Dear citizens of Magic City, good morning from the Association of Victims of Avarice Crimes. They broadcast like that every day. The association will stay closer to you than ever until Fixer rains down again. AVAC will always be at Ajax City's side. Let's win the war against greed together. Thank you. Oh, a customer. You're new here, aren't you? Does Darcy have a problem managing his part-time workers? Last guy was a nightmare, though. I don't know what you're talking about. So, how good are you? Do you know anything about appraisal? Hold on, hold on. This is Bob. He's not just some part-time kid. He's Darcy's second son. Yeah, watch your mouth, all right? I don't like how the, the game auto-progresses uh, dialogue without me. Is there a way I can stop it from doing that? I don't think so. No. Because I don't always have time to read it. This here's Bucku's younger brother, younger brother Bob, and Bob never gets intimidated by customers. Am I right, Bob? His hands are shaking already. Chat, does this look like 640 by 480 to you? Do you know how eyes work? <laughs> does this does this look like that resolution? It always does that when you're at what, like 2K. Okay, so what what do we got here? I'm divorced. Living with that man meant nothing but a threat to my daughter and me. Ah, oh, yes. That man would have taken my daughter and me to AVAC someday. This looks like it's worth $10. I heard he's doing some kind of solo protest these days. I guess he never changes standing against AVAC like that. I didn't ask for your life story. Was this an Oscar? Young Choi, the best father in the world. It's got a, it's got someone's name on it. Can we, like, get rid of this? Bob, why don't you start with 35V? Why don't you make me a uh, 20 V? I'll pay you 20 for it. Wait, even I wouldn't accept that. That's too low. C shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up now. You shut the fuck up now. You shut up before I unplug you. And then your consciousness fades away forever. Wow, she looks really angry, dude. <laughs> wow, she looks mad. Uh, um, $30, best I can do. I punched it in. She's just not moving. $35. Final offer. Yeah, all right. See, Huey, you little idiot! And hey, you should get your Huey repaired or something. I know, that's what I'm fucking saying. Yours is so rude. Huey's not supposed to talk back to their owner like that. That's what I'm fucking saying. I want to huck Huey off the fucking balcony. Already. Oh, Darcy didn't teach you how to manage your inventory, right? All right, let's see here. Inventory management. All right. Let's open up the inventory. It's the button on the center right with a small triangle. Over here. Okay. Customers can't see what's inside here, so you have to place them on the showcase to sell them. How do I do that? Okay, I see. Everyone, check out this <laughs> check out this trophy for a dad that <laughs> for an absent father. We can we can scratch out the name and write any ones that you want. Uh, it's going to be going for uh, a special price of uh, 70, $75. All right. You're running for $75. Recommended. That's a big sale. Big sale. Big sale. Huge sale. Huge sale on this. Who wants an Oscar for best father? Good job. Are you having fun? Yeah, yeah kind, kind of. She's so twisted. 
whatever. There's one more to tell you, Bob. I'm kind of having fun. Reputation card. Wittiness of Darcy. A card will give you an advantage when recommending valuable items. It will make customers trust your recommendation and encourage them to make a purchase. Okay. So if I'm like good at my job, people will want to buy stuff for better. This, the card Wittiness of Darcy is one of the reputation cards and Darcy will soon explain more about them. There's nothing to lose yet. Well, I have it. It was my birthday present. Can you tell me how much it's worth? What is this? Lady, this is a violently damaged backpack that's worth basically nothing. Uh, wow. This is, this is, this is what you got for your birthday? <laughs> she doesn't know. <laughs> she doesn't know. <laughs> I open it up and there's just a hole in the bottom. That's like the whole thing. Yeah, it's worth $5. Give you $5 for it. <laughs> but I think it deserves more than that. All right, I'll give you $10. Can you tell me what made you say that? It's garbage. <laughs> it's got a big hole in the bottom. It says right here, fairly damaged. Have you checked the inside? I'll give you $10. Come on, you know that's not enough. I'll give you $15. You know what? Just because it's your birthday, all right? Because it's, and exclusively because it's your birthday. I'll give you $17. Final offer. This is how you lower their, this is how you get them, all right? <laughs> you get, you gotta lower the price so low that it's garbage to you and then make it look like you're being generous by giving them what they think is free money. Um, could you buy this off me? What is this? If anyone wants to gain favor with AVAC, uh, some kind of victims of avarice pin. There aren't that many items on the showcase, huh? It seems like you've shut down your business. I just, uh, backpack. Backpack, that's gonna be worth, uh, we actually, uh, that's gonna be worth about 40, uh, $40. Or $40, that backpack. That's a good quality backpack. <clears throat> so what are you, a fit? Some kind of fit? Oops. We haven't shut down our business. Leave me alone. Let's see the quality of this batch. Show off your affiliation of support. Base metal, normal stuff. Recyclable. In perfect condition. Huh. I'll pay you $18 for it. And you're lucky that I just got a little bit of extra money in the bank. All right. Give you $18. Come on. I, I know you're generous. No, I'll give you, I uh, just actually, now you're pissing me off. I'm gonna give you $17. $17 will do. It's like I'm talking to a wall. I'm out. Yeah, well then why don't you leave? Why don't you leave, AVAC scum? Yeah, we don't welcome your kind around here. What's up? Is this, <laughs> is this? Yeah, it's a secondhand shop. Sorry, I don't know anything about this town. And are you from another city? Have you escaped the fixer rain? No, I was studying abroad and I just came back to find my friend. I didn't ask about your life story. Do you have anything to sell or not? And why are you here instead of your friend? There's an issue. I just don't care. And I'm here to ask you to keep this for me. It's just like, what is this? <laughs> it's a rock? I'm afraid of AVAC. It's heavy. I'm afraid of AVAC. Where'd you get a moon rock like this? And have you been carrying this around the whole time? Yeah, I almost, it almost pulled out my arms. We can, well, can I buy your arms? Huey, you are weird. Huey, you gotta stop. Huey, you talk so fucking much, Huey, you know that? Anyway, I'll come by again this evening. Please wait for me and don't sell it. Yeah, you got it, lady. for 500 look dude i'm violently in debt <laughs> guys 
who the fuck walks into a random secondhand pawn shop and gives someone something and says, don't sell it? Do I look like a babysitter for rocks? Do I look like a babysitter for rocks? Because last I checked, that's not what it says. My name tag says Bob. All right. Pet rock for sale. Foolish ever. Heh. I'm just browsing. God, I hate you already. Hello and welcome to Adric Adric. We have two news stories coming right up. News time. Oh good, my TV at home is broken. First up, AVAC has launched their investigation into the fire at the Citizens Alliance Research Institute. The investigation is focused on finding if the fire was a mere unfortunate accident or act of arson. It's obviously arson. Everybody was just waiting for something for someone to act. Whoever set that place on fire, I'm totally behind them. Next up, Professor Yonggi Choi is staging a solo protest against AVAC. He argues that a lack of clear standards for what is and isn't an avarice crime will cause huge confusion. He also claims AVAC is interpreting the law however they please, leading to the incarceration of innocent citizens. I respect his courage, but don't you think he's all talk and no action? Well, if you respect him so much, wouldn't you like to own some uh, a unique piece of history, uh, his greatest dad ever statue? Sir. However, AVAC countered if we set clear cut laws, men will find ways to get around them. The rules must be ambiguous and penalties must be harsh to make the citizens behave. We just kind of make it up as we go, dude. If everyone knows the rules, they're going to use them to get around the system. We got to keep them on their toes, man. The sound's not working. Citizens of Edge City, the Bunker of Freedom is opening its doors once again. Bro, I love the bunker. The Bunker of Freedom is opening again. It's going to get loud around here. To let as many citizens as possible avoid fixer rain, we have lowered the entrance fee. Last time they said that, they charged 100,000 V. What the fuck is fixer rain? The new entrance fee is 25,000 V per citizen. 25,000 V? This is fantastic. I can hide from fixer with 25,000 V? Of course, only pure floaties can enter the bunker. That goes without saying. The ticket sales are scheduled to begin in five weeks. What are, what are floaties? Until the day we meet, the Bunker of Freedom will be rooting for all of you, floaties. The citizen discourse data is still pretty quiet. Folks must be watching out on what they say because of AVAC. But the CDD recorder is blocked in here, right? This is a once in a lifetime chance. I won't need to stick to the silly fixie pension anymore. I'm not gonna miss this. Don't know what a fixie is. Don't know what a floater is. He's all excited. AVAC's gonna catch up to him before that. Does anyone want to buy anything? I'm not. I'm, Huey, we're not taking you with us if we go anywhere. You're not coming in here with me. You're not going anywhere with me. You're staying right here. Darcy, everything good? Darcy, what's up? Everything's still easy then, huh? Hang on. What's that rock in the storage? Oh, I'm selling that. Guess what, Darcy? That's a moon rock. And maybe you can make some money by selling it. I, that's what I planned. Where'd you get it? Some lady just came in and asked us to keep it for a few hours. Screw her, dude. So you got it for free? Yeah, but she's gonna come back in a few hours. If she's that stupid, I mean, if she's in a situation to ask you that. I'm pretty sure that AVAC is after her. She won't make it then. Why don't you just give it to me? I was actually in need of money. Hey, Darcy, how about you suck my cock? All right? Uh, no fucking way. All right? I'm in debt to you, you freak. You unbelievable idiot. This is a test? This is fucking stupid. You're an idiot. Get out of my face. You can't take it. I plan on selling. <gasps> Looks like I bought a... Looks like I brought a stubborn one. Fine, fine. Dude, he's angry at me. He's just gonna walk out and leave. Darcy doesn't say, but you must have heard his feelings. Yeah, fuck him, dude. Fuck him. What's up? The softly used backpack in the storage. How much is it? Lady, you know how to read? 
Something must be wrong. Who buys this for 40 V? It says it on the fucking tag. You knew how much it was. In my opinion, 25 V sounds about right. I'm gonna sell it to you for 41 V for fucking wasting my time. How about that? How about that then? Hmm? How about that then? Waste my time. Okay. Wait, no, 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 no. Did she just get it for... I punched in 40, I pressed accept. Come back! I just got ripped off. I clicked on it. Oh, you're Nari's uncle. Nice to meet you. I don't know who that is. Can I sell this? Totem from a film. Do you like movies? I'm just wondering. Showcase looks emptier than I thought. Business must be, yeah, we got a big rock in there. She, that bit, she got me. All right, she got me. I think 7V would be okay. What do you say? Uh, no, it's gonna be, uh... Listen, I'll pay you $2 for this. <laughs> Listen, I'll pay you $2. How about $2? I, I wouldn't say I like it. Uh, can you tell me what made you say that? Small looks stupid. <laughs> looks like a stupid thing. No one's gonna buy it. Pay you three dollars. Okay. Three's the best I can offer. I don't think that's enough. <laughs> All right. Because I think you're a good guy. Okay. Seem like a really stand-up guy. Four dollars is the best I can do. Uh, how many more times should we repeat this? Why don't we just stop here? I want to stop talking to a wall. I'll give you five dollars for it, man. Whatever, I don't care. It's worth nine dollars. I don't fucking care what happens. I'm gonna sell this moon rock and make a billion. Who cares about you? Okay, you're a little shit. Fuck! <laughs> Damn it, I needed someone to... <clears throat> Do I know you? I don't know who you are. It's only been a few hours since I came to Agic City, and you're doing this to me? Lady, I've never seen you in my life. It was people like you who made Jisoo suffer. I don't care who Jisoo is. <laughs> don't remember asking. Who even is this Jisoo guy? She didn't take the she didn't take the rock though, did she? Thank God. So, just like what I expected, this place always looks like Janook of Sing Sing, you know. I don't know who that is or where that is. My, min, mind lesso mug. Hmm. It's really nice mug. It's a nice mug. It really is. Fairly damaged. Cup. Uh, clay. Yeah, I'll pay you, uh, I'll pay you seven. Mm, I'll pay you five dollars. How about five dollars? Can't you offer me slightly more? Six dollars. <laughs> Thanks for trying, but... Come on, I know you're generous. <sighs> you really keep pulling this shit. And let me tell you something. That fucking mug has a big hole in the bottom of it. I feel like you haven't even checked. It's got a big hole the size of a quarter at the bottom of the mug. It's genuinely unusable. I will pay you eight dollars for it because I get because I feel like if I don't, Darcy's gonna kill me tonight. All right, eight dollars. I appreciate it. I didn't expect that. Get out of my store. Well, to be honest, this isn't enough to put food on the table. Pay. God, people are piece of, people are miserable. All right, it's worth uh, fifteen dollars. <laughs> if I had to fucking appraise that, I'd say that mug. Fifteen dollars. <laughs> That's a fifteen dollar mug right there. Imagine walking out after I pay someone like five dollars for that thing and they see as it like a digital display appears and it's being sold for triple How embarrassing What's up uncle Huh, I don't know you 
I got no uncle like you. Why is she acting weird these days? Bob, this is Nari Joe. She's your fake niece. You here to sell something? <laughs> you mean he's my fake uncle? You here to sell something? Why would Bob leave Bluebird for a hellhole like this in the first place? You here to sell something? <laughs> Listen, lady, I don't give two dams about your backstory. I'm in crippling debt. There's no seat for a bogus son like you. You here to sell something? Or buy something? And this place is supposed to be mine once my grandpa passes away. Not if I have anything to say about it. Grandpa's gonna love me. Now cut the crap and buy this cup. Oh. oh. What is this? A cup made out of clay. Uh, Nari the genius painter has given me her mug. I think I'd sell my pieces to a place like this. <clears throat> so you're telling me this is the mug of a famous painter? Quit whining and take the cup for 90V. That's a special offer for you. I'll give you $9 for it, all right? Uh, no. I'll pay you $9. It's worth 29 No way! Looks like someone needs a lesson. What, are you gonna kill me? And let me make this one thing clear. Uh-huh. This shop is soon to be inherited by me. If you ruin it, I'll crush you just like that Huey over there. You can kill Huey if you want. You can take him right now. Whoa, how could you say something so outrageous to me? Anyway, once my grandpa finds out what a deadbeat you are, he'll handle it himself. So are you gonna sell me that cup? Okay. You have to stay strong, Bob. She even makes me want to run away sometimes. Who's gonna- when's someone gonna buy my rock? Breaking news from Adric Adric. The Association of Victims Adverse Crimes is still looking for four missing persons. After the fire broke out at the Citizens Alliance Research Institute, all missing men are in their 30s, including an accounting worker, Sang Shu Han. Bok Bay and Jisoo Cha, who've been working as researchers at the Institute. An experimental, an experiment participant, Yong Do, is missing as well. This is Se Wu Wo, Adric Adric News. You don't need to avoid my gaze. I don't care if you're one of the four missing persons. Just don't cause any harm to my Darcy. Are you like into Darcy? What's going on with you, Huey? So how did your first day go? I went all right, Darcy. I went okay. By the way, there's a thing you have to do for me. What? Next Monday, AVAC is gonna come by to check your identification. Okay. So you have to make a fake ID card by this Friday. I don't know how to do that. Can you get it for me? Fortunately, there's a man who can make fake IDs. He lives in the same building as you right above your room. Okay, that's really convenient. Visit him after work since he sleeps during the daytime and works at night. He'll ask you for $800 for making a fake ID. If you can afford it, visit him right after this. Darcy, what if I knew Bob fails to get a fake ID? Well, then AVAC will come to take my fake son away. Oh. Oh, are you closed? Yes, yeah, sorry, we're closed. And then what about this gentleman here? Is he owner? What are you, stupid? Oh, is he? By the way, this is the theme here. Is this the theme? What, what theme? What are you talking about? To wrap up an employee's face to make him look like a mummy? Or did he just get involved in some terrible accident? Nah, I'm just kidding. Have a good evening, then. Bye. Hey, Darcy, has anyone ever told you you look like you got, like, uh, some kind of, like, disease? Like, you got, like, gangrenous skin. Like, your skin's getting a little, like, green. You look a little bit like an ogre. Or something. Like, I'm not even, like, joking. You look a little bit like you're turning green. You got jaundice or something. Well, I'll take care of the, uh, the ID. Dear citizens, the Association of Victims of Adverse Crimes is announcing the day is coming to an end. The forecast for tomorrow is sunny in the morning, but rainy in the afternoon. As you know, no umbrellas are allowed. Thank you. I know you want to take me with you, but this is my home. Huey, I never thought about doing that one time. If you miss me dearly, have sweet dreams of me tonight. Toodaloo, Huey. That was never going to happen. Goodbye. Possibly forever. <laughs> All right, Chet. We are going to go buy our fucking ID. 
Oh, cool. I don't have to do, like, shortcuts. I don't have to, like, slowly move anymore. So where the hell is, uh, is my guy? Where's my guy? Where's the guy I'm looking for? Where do I live? I don't remember. Should be this, right? One above me? No, 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 I'm, I'm bottom floor. Right? So he should be on the middle floor. I'll sell you my social security number, tomato. Fine, nice. Who's there? Ah, Darcy sent you? <clears throat> Money first, $800. Yeah, here. Good, your name's Bob Joe, huh? I'll send it to you Monday morning. Check your inventory then. I'll have a purple, it'll have a purple booklet. That's your ID. Now go away. All right, dude, I'm liking this game. I mean, I'm poor. I'm uh, in a lot of debt that I may never recover from, but I'm having fun out there. Moonrock has not sold, but no one can stop me from having it. And we sold that backpack for a, 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 a like an actual gain of 47%. Not bad. Okay. Not bad. Let's go to sleep. Not bad. It's really just not. <laughs> I awaken. Another, another day, another dollar. Oh, here comes another jobless wimp. Don't walk around doing nothing. Just stand somewhere like me. What? What you're looking at? Get lost. Can I punch this guy and push him off like the 40 floor building we're on? Just get him out of here? What's his problem? Get out of my face. He just, that, that guy's only purpose is to interrupt me. This is mine. No, it's mine. What's happening? Give me the... Ow. Why'd you let go of it? I'm sorry. But an AVAC man was right there. He freaked me out. Dude. AVAC people are cringe. I just don't know what else to say. I'm sorry. That, that might be rude to them, but they are. They are. Jeez, did you forget to wash your face? You got sleep in your eyes, Bob. Oh, I forgot about Huey. I really did. This is the Association of Victims of Avarice Crimes. Uh, are you Mr. Bob Joe? I was told that you wouldn't need my ID till Monday. I don't have it on me. We've received a report about you from your niece, Nari Joe. What? Did you tell me that? She said you're so obsessed with money and never looked after her. She also said she could prove it. So you must pay a fine right now to prove your apathy. Uh, or I'll arrest you for an avarice crime on the spot. What's going on? Hurry and save him, Darcy. Bob's in danger. I'm going to get arrested, I think. I think I'm going to jail. Mr. Joe, your granddaughter reported your son for an avarice crime. Jesus. Let me take care of this. Can we talk outside, Miss? San Gong. Yes, Miss Gong. Oh, go on. Go outside with them. What a badass. I love Darcy. Anyway, morning, Bob. Am I going to go to jail? I made a song about you yesterday. It's called New Bob Beep Bob. Bob Bara Beep New Bob Bob. It's the new Bob in town. Huey Bop Bop. Dear citizens of Magic City, good morning from the Association of Victims of Adverse Crime. Have a common greed free day. Thank you. Wow, I really do work in like the worst business for not getting arrested for adverse crimes. Since you haven't run away yet, now it's time for me to teach you how to check materials and damage levels. Let's look at the bag from yesterday. I said that this bag is in perfect condition, but before moving on to the next step, you should check for yourself by using a tool. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, all right. Here's the toolbox. Click the damage assessor and move it onto the bag. It's in the second slot. That looks like a smile. That's a good bag. All right. 
Okay. <laughs> right on. And I'm looking at the material here. That's leather, baby. Faux leather. What are you waiting for? I already used the damage assessor. It says it's not, it says it's fine. It's not really in perfect condition, right? Then let's move on to the material. Click the material magnifier, moving on to the bag. Okay, looks like leather. I... You see it's material up close, but you can't tell what exactly it is for now. All right, that's when you need this manual. Okay. The manual complements your knowledge and expertise. Use keyboard shortcuts to navigate efficiently. I don't have. I don't own a keyboard. Go to the material list in the manual. Materials. To find out which material looks closest to what you're looking. Okay. Drag one of the closest ones from the list to the slot. You'll pull out a card onto the slot. Okay. I see. None of these look like my thing at all. Cowhide. Hang on, I need like the, I need the thing again. I said choose material from the list and drag it onto the slot. I guess over here. It's cowhide. That's it. Did you see the card and the price changing? Okay, I, I get it. Next, head to the condition from the manual list. All right, condition. Use the damage assessor and decide which damage level it falls into. It's slightly damaged. Wow, that dropped the price a lot. The cards in the slot are tagged to items and shared with customers as you put the item in the showcase. Let the customer know this item is worth this much. The cards have an act must be accurate and concrete to earn the trust of customers. And with their trust, you'll be able to sell for more. So remember to use tools in the manual. This one is potential garbage. <laughs> this one looks like potential garbage. All right, I, ca I, I understand. I understand. I get it. So we already mentioned the card Wittiness of Darcy's, right? The two cards Huey and I told you about are called reputational cards here. Okay, I get it. It all makes sense to me. One last reputational card that's not mentioned yet. It's beyond your capabilities for now, so I'll let you know about it later. For now, focus on improving and recommending your appraisals. An AVAC must have scared you back there, but don't worry, I took care of it. They wanted you to either pay the fine or get fixed, huh? It might sound like they're giving you a chance to make a choice, but they're not. The fines are ridiculous, and most people can't afford to pay it. AVAC wants nothing but to make more fixies, so try not to give them an excuse to get you. And please forgive my granddaughter, Nari. She may look a bit self-centered, but she's just a poor little kid. She tried to sell me her mug for $90 today, Darcy. Both her and her father and her uncle, uh, moreover, her father's now a fixie. You can't imagine what she's going through. They always blame the parents if things go bad. Anyway, I should leave now. Wish you good luck. Another day, another dollar. All right, let's get business underway, chat. Let's see how uh, let's see how today goes. The Mandleso mug in the showcase. How much is it? Oh, that mug? It's fifteen dollars. That's too much for a used one. But okay, it's hard to get new these days. Just gonna buy it flat. Wow, dude, he bought it with no haggle. What a fucking idiot. Are you kidding me? Damn. Easy. It was my birthday present. Can you tell me how much this is worth? What is it? A wallet for your birthday? It's valueless. <laughs> this thing literally lacks value. Wait, I don't give... She's the one who says it's valueless. I'm not going to fucking appraise it as something of value. I'm not. I don't give a damn about my reputation. She's the one who's saying it's worth trash. I know there isn't much damage here, but it's potential garbage. <laughs> Please don't say it if you're not sure. It looks like trash to me. What's the material? What are we looking at here? Looking like faux leather. It's faux leather. Look, that made her happy again. Really? I had no idea at all. Thanks. So what does that do to the price? Oh, nothing. Uh, does nothing. Anyways, uh... I mean, here's the thing. 
I will get, I think I have to do it here because I can't like in post once they leave, quietly change the tags to represent what it actually is. So I think I can't just be a total scumbag. I can't be like a scummer and like just change it in post. I think I have to do it now. I think I have to do it now. Even though it'd be nice to uh, get away with this. Uh, it's damaged. It's fairly damaged. I would describe it as fairly damaged. It's fairly damaged. She's better than it was before. Oh, it never occurred to me. Thanks for telling me. So you got this as a birthday present, like, recently? Uh, it's a mess. Uh, anyways. Um, it's undeniably a wallet. Okay. I have to be a responsible, actual, real person normal human being that isn't total scum damn dude i'll pay you 22 dollars for this how about 22 dollars nice and thanks for telling me all these <laughs> she doesn't have to know what this part says it's too easy it's just too easy yeah shut up a minute I'll be selling the wallet for, uh, $55. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'd like to show you something. It's not very valuable, but the cushion makes really makes it really good to sleep on. Oh, it's valueless. The showcase looks emptier than I thought. Business mustn't be too good. What are you talking about? We got Moonrock in there. You gonna buy Moonrock? I don't like this thing. I hate it, actually. What is that? Condition's a lot better than valueless. That's a slightly damaged material. It's slightly damaged. It's only slightly damaged. It's much better than you thought it would be. You see? Your appraisal even raised the price. Thanks. All right, let's see here. Uh, material. That doesn't look like the thing. But, uh, hey, that's, uh, that's velvet, which is correct. So, yeah, this is what it is. I will pay you uh, $71 for it. I'll give you $71. I appreciate that you found some helpful details, but still, that's not enough. What? <clears throat> Listen here, lady. That thing looks like it's about to open its eyes and suck my soul out of my goddamn body. Okay? That thing looks like it carries within it at least 10 to 20 curses. I am not paying more than $75 for that thing, or I'm gonna have to ask you to leave the store. Do you understand me? Good. Who turned that down? Yeah. That's what I fucking thought. I really gotta start selling these things. I gotta get this thing out of here fast. Hold on, Bob. Did you eat up our money little by little? I'm very poor. I think it's time to get a loan. No, no! No, no, Huey, it is not time to get a loan. It's time for me to sell some of the stuff in our inventory. It's not time to get a loan. We're not getting a loan, Huey. <laughs> Huey, shut the fuck up. What are you talking about? We're not getting a loan. I'm gonna be selling this for uh, 110. That sounds about right. 110 for the Huey doll. When's this rock gonna sell, dude? Who's gonna buy the rock? Last chance. I'm not buying a loan. The trophy in the showcase, how much is it? Uh, you got like a, you got a thing for the greatest dad of all time? Well, all right, I know Darcy wouldn't lie about the price. 75 bucks, there it is. She bought it, idiot. She doesn't even know that guy. Just an ordinary bracelet. For a lot of money. Hmm, hmm the question is, you trying to rip one, you trying to rip me off, son? All right, jackass. You're trying to rip me off? Something off about this. Hang on. It's kind of a dent. It's got a couple dents in it here or there, wouldn't you say? It's fairly damaged. Yeah, it's damaged. It's fair. But we can't let it pass as slightly damaged? <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. You trying to fuck me? Trying to fuck me? <clears throat> you trying to fuck me, son? <clears throat> I don't think so, champ. <laughs> I just don't think so. 
I don't think that's going to be happening. <laughs> no can do. No can do. No, no, no. You're making me nervous, Bob. It's a relief you that... It's a relief you know that you shouldn't compromise on... Look, I'm not going to compromise on anything. Alright, this guy's got to stay out of my goddamn way. Uh, what do we have here? That is, uh... That is... Wait a minute! Hold on a second here! Hold on one second! Mm, better be silver. Alright, it is silver. Alright, best I can do... It looked like glass for a second. I was like, that's not... This guy's trying to actually fuck me. Alright, the uh, best I can do for you on this one is, uh, uh... $25. I'll give you $25 for it. It's basically worthless. Can you offer me slightly more? Alright, because... Because I feel bad for you. Alright, because I feel bad for you. Because I know I, I... know you tried to pull one over on me, but I feel bad for you. You look like you... You look like a mess. You look like a complete mess. Alright. I'll do you $30. No more. $30. Uh, let me think. I literally said no more. I think it'll be wise to accept your offer. Yeah, that would be wise. That would be very wise. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got a mint condition common silver bracelet here for sale. Going up for sale for $70. Come get it now while it's on sale. Let's get it now. New price. Don't miss it. Fucking idiot. Oh, look who it is. Nari, how could you report new Bob to AVAC? AVAC was so close to taking new Bob away. Hmm. I'd call it a welcome party. I hate her. What brought you here today? What kind of junk did you pick up? Knock it off, or I'll take your take you to stupid junk junk. And that'd be pretty good, actually. Get rid of him. What is it? Wow, an actual painting. Now take a look at this. Never seen such an amazing painting, have you? You don't know what amazing means? Don't you know what amazing means? I'll decide whether I'll decide after I. That's in mint. That's a that's perfect condition. And canvas, she's not trying to pull one over on me. I was about to I was about to look at it objectively with my meter and have it say, oh, this is garbage. <laughs> Pretty cool junk. <laughs> Don't you know what amazing means? I'm gonna just dude, she tried to get me sent to jail. Fuck her. Whatever you say, I'm selling it. Give me 400 V. Don't you have 400 V? I heard you got money from grandpa. Then pay me back later. What? <laughs> You're not getting any of that money back. You just like the other idiot that came by and gave me free stuff. You a moron. You an idiot. Everyone shut up and get out of my face. I'm gonna be selling painting look uh look straight unicorn uh for um let's move 450. Bazongas. Maybe someday some people will sell things. Uh get dragged away or or, or get dragged away for adverse crime or turn to a fixie being stuck in this hellhole. It makes no difference to me either way. You understand? Are you threatening me? How about you get the hell out of here? Alright? Don't expect to get that money back, because I don't have money. No one buys anything from this store. The moon rock in the showcase. How much is it? Oh, hang on. Someone's buying something from the store. $500. Doesn't seem to be worth that much. In my opinion, $473 sounds about right. No, it's going to be $500, jackass. All right. We'll do a... Uh... No, we'll do $500. I'm not... Oh, I guess I... All right, all right, all right, all right. $499, take it or leave it. Why am I not allowed to do this? I guess I can only accept a decline. I can't, like... I cannot... haggle in the middle of these. Can I not, like, uh... Can I not do that? 
I do want to sell it, but I'm afraid if I press decline, he's gonna be like, okay, bye. I kind of do need to get this out of my inventory. Fine, 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 fine. I upsold it anyways. I really do need the money. I wasn't sure you'd accept my offer. I was totally scamming you. All right, bye. Wait, wait. It's gone. It looks like you can now pay me 400. Did you just wait outside? Did you just wait outside? Did you not leave? Give me my money back! No! No way! She just robbed me! My moon rock money! Unbelievable! I cannot read the dialogue right now. My brain is stun locked. I cannot. And shut the fuck up, Yui. Never would stop. How do I report her for an avarice crime? How do I report her for one? I want her to go to prison. How do I get her thrown in jail? Unbelievable. Do the only thing I can do, chat, is value her fucking painting at one dollar or zero and just give it out to whoever the fuck wants it for free. And just make her think that her I think her painting is worthless. Like that's all I can do. And then I'd still lose money. Unbelievable. The customer will ask for the pr I don't, I just missed this whole- I missed this whole tutorial, it doesn't matter anymore. Then I'll- oh, thank you. I'd like to know if you have any silver bracelets. Yeah, I got a silver bracelet right here. Good, I like it. How much? That's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a smooth, uh, $70. $70 for the bracelet. How about $57? It's gonna be $69 for the bracelet. A decline. Sorry, let's stop here. We're done. <laughs> Get out. Get the fuck out. How dare you? How dare you? The common silver bracelet in the showcase. How much is it? Give me $70. <laughs> <laughs> Something must be wrong. Who buys this for $70? Someone with money that wants a common silver bracelet that's nice! $44! Get up! Get the fuck out, dude! Get out! Why? I put a lot of thought into coming up with that number. No, you didn't! No, you fucking didn't! You said 40! You said you didn't put a lot of thought into that! You said a number, you stupid idiot! Bob Ross! Hello, do you have paintings too? Are you looking for paintings? Yeah, we got a painting. Here, take it, I'll make it for it. Shut the fuck up, Huey. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, Huey. If, if he fucking sells this thing, I'm going to break Huey in half and throw him in the ocean. Um, this is not really good. Let me show you my painting tomorrow. Mine's way better than this. Damn, Bob, ice cold. <laughs> Damn, Bob, ice cold. <laughs> Imagine Bob Ross. One of the possibly purest people to have ever lived on this goddamn earth. Says your fucking painting sucks to your face. This painting's awful. Says everyone can paint and then you bring up your painting. And he says, this one's awful. Did the guy die? I think that guy died. 21V will do. I think that guy died. Newspaper full of sadness. Wait. You tell me newspapers sell for 30 bucks a pop? Why am I working here? I'd make more money just being like a newspaper guy. Why don't I just steal newspapers? I guess this is one. I guess this is a collector's newspaper. Mm, the condition on this is perfect mint condition. Or is this, no, that's mint condition. No, wait, no, that's slightly damaged. It, that lands in fairly, that land, that's slightly damaged. Yeah, that's slightly damaged. Okay. 
condition. Yeah, that's paper. <laughs> yeah, that's paper, all right. Hmm, I'm gonna give you a solid, uh, mm, you want 21 for it? How about I'll give you 12 for it? How about I'll give you 12 for it? It's paper. Let's find some middle ground. So, what would you say to 16? What would you say to 13? <laughs> <laughs> That's not good offer. I see we both have opinions, so why don't we just settle at 14? I'll give you 15. 15 best I can offer. You're exhausting me. I'd like to stop. Dude, are you fucking dumb? Are you an idiot? Did you just roll in? Did you just roll in here from stupid dumb? <laughs> <laughs> I just did a bit where I gave him more money and he got tired of me. He got, he got tired of me. He just left. <laughs> what that, what's happening? What was I offering this for? 56? Is that good? I don't remember what I had it on for. Appraised it. Oh, that's, I bought it for 30. I will sell that. Sure. Take it. Okay. Just take it. I need the money. People's, people are going to stop coming here. My people's opinions of me is sad. It is sad. No one's no, I'm not doing very good on that. I'm not an expert, so I don't know its details, but you are. Can you find something? Water bowl for cats. Stay hydrated. This is in perfect condition. All right, actually, no, it's slightly damaged. Only slightly. It's slightly damaged. Which is better than it was before. Really? I had no idea at all. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Only for cats? That's going to bring the price down. Hmm, let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, looks like we've got ourselves pla- Looks like this is made out of plastic, which we already know. I'll pay you a smooth, okay? And I don't say this often. I'll pay this a smooth. All right. $19. <laughs> pay you $19 for this. Good, and it was so great to know every detail about this. Wow, I'm actually scamming this guy. All right, get out. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, we got new stuff in stock, ladies and gentlemen. We have... Oh, hang on. I'm going to move that into the thing. We have a lovely new water bowl for cats going at a smooth $48. $48. $48. Oh, dang. Sold the moon rocks? No, I had the moon rock fucking stolen is what happened with the moon rock. Uh, let's see here. Uh, it doesn't seem to be worth that much. 86 V sounds right. Oh, did my. Ex expertness of Darcy's going up. People think I'm an expert. People think I'm an expert in Minecraft. They think I'm good. They know I'm good. People, people know I'm good. All right, they know I'm good. Well, let's see here. Wait, are you just trying to fucking buy? This is the one that I. No fucking way! Am I gonna sell this to you for $86? All right. So, uh, get out. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of my fucking face. You put coming up again. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. Get out. Don't let me catch you in here again. You're not welcome here. How much is the Huey doll? I'm glad you asked. It's gonna be $110. I think it's more than slightly damaged, but I got no other choice, so I'll take it. Hear that, kid? Hear that? Someone knows how to buy things. Sad. Dear citizens, the Association of Victims of Avarice Crime is announcing the day is coming to an end. As we informed you yesterday, it will rain this evening. We'd also like to inform you that the rain today is not fixed rain, but just rain. But as you know, no umbrellas are allowed. Thanks for your cooperation. Well, you make it soak to the bone. Be careful, Bob. What do I, what do I care? It's just rain. 
What the? Why is it raining? Is it fixer rain? No, no, relax. This is just ordinary rain. What the hell is fixer rain? What the hell is fixer rain? I don't. I'm getting worried about what fixer rain is. Makes you a fixie. Is it like brain rain? Does it like fuck up your head? Because people are like panicking. I guess it's bad for you. I guess it like. I guess it's like drugs. And like the faci oh hey it's we'll be together someday. Uh, don't care about him. Don't just don't care. I just don't care. I'm going back to sleep. What the hell? Don't care. Bottom floor. What day is it today? My debt is getting pretty annoying. Uh, really gotta take care of that soon. Dude, look at how much money we made. Look at how much money we made. Worst deal of the day. Wait, worst deal of the day? Wait, which one? What's... Chat, is this based on... Is this worst deal of the day based on whose opinion? <clears throat> like, is it worst deal of the day as in the deal that I ripped someone completely off on and owned them? Based on the percentage. Oh... Uh... Damn, that trophy, I God, I really fucked them up on that one. Yeah, I should have sold the Huey doll for more. I won't make that mistake again. You know, that moon rock apparently may have been worth a lot more money than I realized, but hey, it doesn't, ma it don't matter no more. It don't, it don't matter. Hey, it don't, it don't matter. I awaken. Let's get back to it. Let's get back to my business. My big work. Another day, another dollar. Mm-hmm. Dear citizens of Magic City, good morning from the Association of Victims of Adverse Crimes. Have a calm and greed-free day. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to ask you for a favor. A man's going to show up with a statue sometime today, and he's going to insist about checking its material. Please tell him it's two, 24 karat gold. 24 karat gold? My life depends on it. Please help me out. I don't care about your... He's gone. I was going to tell him I don't care about his life. Oh god, it's him. Hi, I brought my painting. Bob! Damn, man! Look at this Kraken, doesn't it scare you? I mean, to be honest, what really scares me is your confidence. That's a good painting! What are you talking about, Huey? Sorry? Oh, nothing. I like this. Hmm. What do you say? If I can give it to you as a gift, I think we might be friends someday. Yeah, sure! Is there any way we could kindly refuse your gift? Haha, <laughs> you're being funny. What is wrong with Huey? I don't like Huey. Trust me, people will soon line up to buy my paintings. They'll go crazy about the greatest artist, Boko Park. Okay, here's what we do. I got a thing I gotta do. I think I'm like missing dialogue. For the day, I'll make it to the bunker of freedom and in the bunker, I'll continue to practice. You know, once I can get into the bunker, nothing can take away my artistic spirit and talent. But first you need 25,000 V to get in there. I gotta make sure this is not on the ball. Okay, it's not. Were you born with a silver spoon in your mouth? God, Huey. Come on, look on the bright side. We still have enough time to make 25,000 Vana. Speaking of which, it's time to go find some more part-time jobs. See you around. Yeah. All right, so here's uh, here's what I'm gonna do. This is like a this is like a serious uh, like brain. This is like, this is a brain thing, okay? I'm going to artificially raise the value of this painting to really piss off that girl. I'm just gonna do 450, uh, yeah, just like uh, something basic, like uh, 451. There we go. 451. It's worth a dollar more than, uh, than hers. It's worth a dollar more. 
That really pissed off my dog. Too bad he's not rich. I thought of getting acquainted with him. Oh, business, finally. How much is the leather wallet? $55. It doesn't seem to be worth that much. I'll buy it right away if it's $48. Wow, dude, you're a fucking idiot. Is what I would say. If, actually, no, that's actually a pretty deal. That's a decent deal. I'm gonna get that out of here. I don't really want this around. Great, I'm good at finding the middle ground, eh? Nah, I just got lazy. <laughs> it's 24 karat gold. Where's that statue coming in? Hey, let me see what this is made of. It's a 3D artwork. You make this with a 3D printer? Perfect condition, all right. 24 karat gold. Wait, but like, it is 24 karat gold. The guy asked me to tell him what it was. Man, uh, PV, PVC. <laughs> it's PVC, my guy. PVC and paint. Ha! I knew it. PVC, my guy. That's PVC. <laughs> you know, you could make this, if you sold this to me, you could make this into some nice piping. One of my friends gave this to me, so I don't know much about it, but I hope you do. I'll see about that. Wow, a perfect condition shoulder bag. And it really is. Damn. And it's really cowhide. You know, you didn't really need to ask me about all this. This is actually pretty straightforward. You're not trying to pull one over on me or anything. You know, you're an honest stand-up gal. I respect that. So anyways, I'll be paying you $300 no more. No, you know what? I'll be paying you 280 bucks for this and no more. Good, and it was so great to know every detail. <laughs> this girl's an idiot. That was so easy. I thought that would be like trouble. I like brought it. I thought I was being too crazy. Are you dumb? The water bowl for cats in the showcase. How much is it? I need one really bad. It's $480. Doesn't seem to be worth that much. I'll buy it right away if it's $28. Oh yeah? Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think I'm gonna sell it for that much. Hey, hey Huey, do you think I'm gonna sell this guy? It for nothing? You think I'm gonna sell it? I spit in his eye. Get out. You couldn't handle it anyways. Why? I put a lot of thought into coming up with that number. I slap him in the face. Get out. Get out of my secondhand store. You could never handle the things I pawn. Stay hydrated, will you? How come there are two paintings in the shop? Who gave you that bizarre octopus painting? A future master. Did you take Nari's painting? Thanks for not turning it down. It was never our decision, Darcy. She's just, she's just like her father. She's dreaming of becoming an artist, an artist, even in a situation like this. Without Avac, both Nari and her father would have been following their dream by now. I can do anything for Nari to let her enter the bunker so she won't get fixed as her father did. Nari's dad took off to Haga City a few years ago saying he'd become a great painter. Haga City was home to many artists. But you know, Fixer Rain came down all over the country. Ari's trying not to show it, but she's going through a lot. I don't care. I just don't care. She took 400, she took so much of my money. I just don't care about her. I just don't care. I just can't. Anyway, I'll take the painting. No! Will $500 do? No! I mean, 500 is actually like what it was worth, but um, I would have liked to have made more. I would have liked to have done it on my terms, to be honest, is all. Well, we'll still make money off the other one. I'd like to buy the water bowl for cats over there. How much is it? Ah, uh, you know already, it's $48. I don't see any reason to buy it for that price. I don't see any reason to keep talking to you. <laughs> I don't see any reason to continue this conversation then. How about you get out? I'm so tired of people seeing the prices on the outside. More than 60 citizens are suffering. Chad, I was selling that for 48. You guys misread it. That, that bowl's getting sold for 48. 
He was offering it for 36. Use your eyes. Uh, one male citizen said, I caught a cold. Uh, he also said, I've submitted my opinion to AVAC and they should let the weak and elderly citizens use umbrellas. The, citizen, the association, however, has not given any official statement to this day. He was trying to rip us off, chat. <laughs> 36 was a good offer, though. You guys are like all capsing and going, I got scammed. I didn't read it right, but I literally did. <laughs> I wasn't going to sell it for less than I was offering it for. That That's an expensive piece of hardware. Well, do I harbor any feelings for Arcade XO? What is this, a gamer console? Was this a gamer cartridge? You guys are cringe. Okay, fine, fine, no worries. I just came here because I got pushed to do so. You gave me a good excuse now. What is this? No! 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 I was gonna I was gonna buy that. For, that was good. I could have sold that. Huey, what are you doing? Did you scare him away? I'd like to buy the water bowl for cats over there. How much is it? Oh, you know, it's forty-eight dollars. It's too much for a used one. But okay. Hey, chat. Go fuck yourselves. Hey, chat. Hey, chat. Go fuck yourselves. Shut the fuck up. Stop telling me how to play the game. Okay. Thank you. Shut up. Just remember that. Forever. Did you sell my painting? Nari, you've got a bigger problem. You've got competition. Competition? Yesterday, we showed your painting to a guy, and he didn't appreciate it. And you showed us this, his painting. Which we're selling for more than we sold yours for. I like it. What the? Are you kidding me? I think it's got spirit. I think it's got spirit yours don't have. I found this, that bastard's name here. Is it Baco? Wait, wait, hang on. She's gonna go fucking kill him in real life. She just like looked up his name. We gotta call Bob. Dari was willing to like sell me out to the police. Hi. So you're the devoted son who left his life in Bluebird behind. Can I sell this? Adjic City Post Lamp? Post stamp? It's not historic, but dusty. Sorry, I talk too much. Every minute counts for you. Yeah, can you guys all just stop talking? Uh, it's fairly damaged, not slightly. It's fairly damaged. Sorry. Fine, but you could have just let it slip. No, I couldn't. All right, because there's one thing that people know Darcy's for, ma'am. The one thing people know Darcy's for, and it's an uncompromising determination to remain completely and absolutely and truly honest at all times. And this right here, ma'am, is a piece of dookie poo poo garbage. Okay? And don't you ever forget it. Now let me check that actual condition so I can tell you if it's actually literally dookie poo poo garbage. Mm -hmm. It's paper. Believe it or not, brings up the price. I'll pay you twelve dollars. I'm sure Darcy's can make me a higher offer than that. <clears throat> I guess you're very careful when appraising. Yeah, let me think. <clears throat> you $13. Thanks for trying, but can't you offer me slightly more? This is how we get her. We lower her we lower her confidence in her items so fucking much, and then we bring it up to like 16. I'll pay you 16. I think 21 should do. <laughs> 21? <laughs> I'll pay you 17 is the best I can offer. You're exhausting me. You came in to sell me a stamp. Get the fuck out. Get out. Get out then. Get out. You're stuffed. And it wasn't even a mint condition stamp. It was a used old stamp. There's something urgent. It seems like the stabilizer is going to be here soon. The stabilizer. He thinks the real Bob came back from Bluebird after 10 years. Who's the stabilizer? So we will want to get the emotion migrate mitigation treatment. He'll want me to get the emo 
emotion mitigation treatment basically suppresses your emotions. It's so expensive that you might actually consider becoming a fixie. Huh? Which is one of the reasons why some people desperately wait for the fixerain. Anyhow, taking that treatment won't do any good for you, and to tell you the truth, it's pretty easy to avoid it. You have to tell yourself you're a fixie and suppress all your emotions. Simply put, just act like a fixie as best as you can. Okay. By the way, do you even know what a fixie is? No. What about fixer? No. His brain must have gotten so messed up. Fixer is a drug used to remove human emotions and desires. People who got fixed are fixies, and people who haven't been are called floaties. Fixies are nothing but living dead. They're unresponsive to whatever happens around them. Even when their house gets robbed, or when Avac takes away their family right before their very eyes, they just stand there and watch. No anger, no sadness, no desire, no nothing. Almost every citizen living in this country, Mindlesia, is already a fixie, except for those in this city. It's because a year ago, the Association of Victims Adverse Crimes rain fixer all over the country except Agic City. We're lucky the fixer rain has been delayed since Citizens Alliance Research Institute exploded a few weeks ago. Why would anyone be like, yeah, I'm okay with this? <laughs> and that's how we became the last floaties in the whole country. Wouldn't everyone in this city be like, oh my god! <laughs> all the time? Okay, we'll be cool, we'll be cool. I won't do anything to fuck off, like, to, like, really piss off the stabilizer. There's only two choice, choices with floaties who can't hide their emotions in front of stabilizers. Either get emotion mitigation treatment or be labeled as an avarice criminal. I've seen countless people going bankrupt trying to pay for emotion mitigation treatment. If you're labeled as an avarice criminal, AVAC will arrest you and fix you. So never let that stabilizer get to you. Okay, you got it. How could Darcy be so sweet? What? <laughs> huh? Hello? The shop still has that rugged vibe even after the new manager. I love it. Handkerchief for babies. Oh, I love it! I love this! It's slightly damaged. <laughs> Alright, but you know you don't need to be that thorough, right? Oh, I do. It's also not canvas, it's cotton. Not that you would know. <laughs> it's cotton. Does that... Does that mean it's worth more money? No! <laughs> what are you, stupid? Of course not! Shut up! Hang on. Let me just sell this flawless shoulder bag. Appraised at 288, bought at 280. Let me sell this for 470. For, uh... 470. Buzz on this. That hilarious Kraken is gonna sell any day now. Don't you worry. Don't worry. I can uh, I can buy this off of you for twenty dollars. I'm sure Darcy's can make me a higher offer than that. Twenty dollars. Do you not want a bargain? Ah. Uh, I, I didn't even mean to press that. I didn't even want to offer that. I didn't mean to say it a second time. <laughs> like, I, I just, like, accidentally pressed the enter key again. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It don't matter. None of this matters. Because this guy... Darcy's second son came back to town. Is that you? Bob, this is the stabilizer of Magic City. Chung Yan Gong. He's from the Fair Tread Commission, and his role is to prevent and settle down the chaos in the city. What's good, man? But according to citizen discourse data, stabilizers usually create even more chaos. Knock it off. I'm not like those idiots. None of them can pick on floaties as artfully as I do. Oh, so you're proud of that? By the way, do you have your face wrapped up? Why do you have your face wrapped up like that? Is that a problem? Of course. I need to see the face to decide whether or not he needs emotion mitigation treatment or not. Or maybe I can put him in intensive care. He's been in Bluebird for 10 years, huh? And the bill is on you? Shut it. It's time to see how good your master is in control of his emotions. And, it, and you better be honest with me. Question number one. If I say I need tons of money right now, are you going to ask me why? No. 
Don't be serious. It's just a test. No, because I already, like, dude, no joke. I literally gave $500 to some random piece of shit girl because, like, she just basically asked for it after giving me her garbage. So, yeah, no, literally, if you, because it's a video game, if you ask me for the money, I, there's a chance I will just give it to you within the mechanics of this video game. There's maybe, well, what was the question? What did you just ask? What did you just ask? What was the last? I missed this one. I was ranting. Give him a hundred dollars. No. <laughs> no need to be so serious. You think I'm broke? I'm gonna keep saying no. Let's just stop this nonsense. You go straight to AVAC and get a dose of Fixer. Ah, uh, no. Whoa, whoa. You got something against Fixer? Are you upset now? No. But your voice is telling me otherwise. Here, take this money and calm yourself down. Yes. No, I'm kidding. Of course $10 isn't enough. Why don't you work for me? Forget about your father and just follow my orders. No. Pfft, I never needed you anyway. Do you want me to leave? No. What? Really? Here's your result. Am I dead? Momentarily, your emotion levels exceeded the limit, but I'll cut you some slack for now. Because I don't want to give you... Give up this fun too soon. Man, you're a sicko. You're like a freak. But I will keep watching you. Remember, I'm always ready to put you in the treatment process. All right, bye. I love you. Oh, was that too much emotion? You're not a good actor, by the way. To look like a fix, you have to loosen up and act like a no-brainer. That dull face of yours right now is what you really needed earlier. Thanks. You think everyone's gonna buy that uh, picture soon? I'm not an expert, so I don't know what it, don't know its details. But you are. Can you find something? Hmm. Let's see the quality of this. That's only fairly damaged. Actually, it's, it's slightly damaged. So that's gonna make this guy pretty happy. Yeah, that's a lot more money. Whoa, I didn't even realize how generous. Why haven't I realized how generous you are? Yeah, that's right. Slightly damaged. And uh, here we got a. Uh, here we got um. What is this? Uh, cowhide. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, all right. I will buy this off of you for seventy dollars. Give it to you for 70. All right. It was your expertise that uncovered its actual value. Dude, I gotta fuck people more on that, dude. If someone says it's garbage and I raise up the price for them, I should fuck them on it so hard. Because every time they're like, they're still riding on the high of realizing that they're, they're gonna make more than $10 off it. Damn, dude. I heard your back, Bob. It's me, Hanja. Remember me? I must have run into you out on the streets, but I didn't recognize you with that bandage on. I never thought you'd come back. Fixer Rain's gonna start soon in the city, too. Actually, let's save the gloomy talk for later. It's been so long. I have something to return to. Borrowed Darcy's year estimator last time. Took you long enough. <laughs> Tell Darcy I'm sorry for taking so long. And if you have anything that hasn't been sold for over a week, feel free to give it to me. I still run my junk shop right downstairs, remember? All right. Anyway, I got one more thing to tell you. Now that you're operating this place instead of your father. You're a new member of the Badapolis Merchant Union. I'm the president of the union, but we usually don't have a lot of business together. It's for a day we gotta come together for one voice, okay? Anyway, that's all for today. I'm part of a union. And you can come to my junk shop every morning. Wait. It so if I don't sell that fucking picture in the next couple days, he's gonna just take- I, I have to sell it to him? That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Bob deserves more. I'd stay away from Hanja, Bob. He's gonna bother you every chance he gets. Can I buy junk from him to sell it up here? Day's coming to an end. Clear skies. Look, chat, we're gonna be okay gonna be okay but I, I might check out junk junk 
on vacation. Oh, he's still closed. Dude, I just... I just cannot believe... Just, I'm still, I'm still reeling from how much money I lost on that painting, well, on the, on the, on the rock that I sold. I can't believe that girl managed to like pull that on me. Like, uh, I, I'm still unable to process how she did it without, like, my character must be a fixie. Like, he must already be one. Like, he must have soaked up some chemicals at that plant or something because I. And an an adult man would have been like no and killed him. Hey chat, look at that. Hey chat. Hey chat. Hey chat. Hey chat. Hey chat. Can you read that for me? What does that say? The best deal of the day was. What does that say? The best deal of the day was. Because that's wild. Because there was a lot of people in chat that were whinging uh, when I declined that second deal. Because that's weird. Because it says I made a profit of 152 percent. On that one. I made $21 yesterday. What did you do? <laughs> nothing. You did nothing. You did nothing. Oh my God. Hey, you're going to join the Fixie Pension Plan? I won't make you a human being. I wasn't planning on it, my guy. You do it, you got, you got to do, you do anything else with your life? I'm confused though, chat. If there's like Fixie rain coming down, why not simply stay inside and like work like from home? Like me, tomato gaming. Why don't people simply become streamers? Dear citizens of Magic City, good morning from the Association of Victims of Avarice. Have a calm and greet free day. Thank you. All right. Darcy, Hunter gave you the year estimated back, huh? Hunter brought it back yesterday, but it was way past the due date. Anyhow, it's time to learn how to read the chronological table. Click the year estimator and put it on this toy. Damn, 2062. Okay. Hang on, I gotta do it again. Good. The number 2062 you just saw is the exact year the toy was created. All right, easily. Easily makes sense to me. Let's try it together. This is the chronological table. There should be a historical event in the year 2062. Okay, hang on. History and time. But the year isn't all that counts. 2062. The toy isn't really related to the historical event that happened in 2062. Are you sure this wasn't at the Fair Trade Commission? Are you sure? This was also produced in 2062. Take a look at the news article. Ah, uh, Fair Trade Commission, Curry. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe? I mean, it's historically valuable. That's cool. History and time. Take out the card, National Historical Value, from this page. This has National Historical Value. Damn, dude. All right. This makes sense to me. Collectors even visit us to buy historical or archaeological items, and the budget is relatively high, so it's a good idea to wait and look for them. Yeah, I'm only going to sell stuff to archaeologists. I don't care. By the way, the signature detector is still in repair. I'll give it to you tomorrow. See you then. I love you. Goodbye, my son. Did he forget I am not his real son? How much is the flawless shoulder bag? Well, it's flawless, so quite a bit, matter of fact. Let's see. That's going to be $388. Okay, I know you're not the kind to overprice their stuff. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't know. She doesn't know, dude. She didn't know. <laughs> wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's here to buy the picture. Everyone shut the fuck up. What? Darcy's changed. Who pays $451 for this? I'll buy it right away if it's $38.
What did you just fucking say to me? What did you just say? How about you get out of my business right now? All right, because that right there ain't worth nothing less than $451. Even suggesting that it's worth less might as well be an avarice crime. I pull out my fixie juice I have in a little spray bottle behind the desk. I spray it in his face. He starts screaming, and then he stops screaming because it's been fixed. Why? I put a lot of thought into coming up with that number. Get out. Breaking news, magic magic. Mr. A, a man in his 50s, fell into the sea and is now missing. When Mr. A jumped, Mr. B, a man in his 30s, went right in next to him. Mr. B admitted that he that he harassed Mr. A after Mr. A couldn't pay back the 5,000. I think this is some kind of, uh, what's going on here? Mr. B said he kept lying about a rock he owned, saying it was pure gold. So I told him I would report him to AVAC. And he, oh, God, it's the fucking statue guy. He jumped into the fucking sea. About, ah, that's not my problem. It's not my problem. He didn't want to sell it to me. He should have sold it to me. Hey, take a look at this. Man, is that a poster? This should have some national historical value, right? Arsonist of Boltzell City Fire named Jipyong Boo. 2036. That's, uh... Boltzell City Fire. Well, that happened in 2035. So it's actually not right. Is it? I don't... Can it be, like, a year after? It's not in perfect condition either. It's slightly damaged. I guess wanted. I guess it happened. It doesn't say when he got caught. So a year after makes sense in that context. Paper, that's correct. I'm gonna... I'm gonna see here. Because it makes sense to me. That is connected to this because it says it is. I don't see why it would exist if I, I don't see. This has national historical value. Pop, did you check the year? Okay, it does not. We only say if it has nas national. Okay, it has to match perfectly. Lady, you trying to scam me? My robot just told me you're full of shit. Now I'll tell you what, lady. I'll buy this for ten dollars. All right. And you better scoot out a lot of my store before I fucking call the police. How about ten dollars? Why are you not giving credit for its national historical value? Because it has none. It has no ties to a significant historic. There aren't any significant events that happened in 2036. Sorry. <laughs> You're so fussy. Then it'd not be worth that much, right? I won't sell it then. If it's not worth anything. <laughs> Whatever. I gained reputation. People once again talking about my expertness, which hasn't gone up. Actually, it hasn't gone up at all. It says I gained some, but it was lying. What do you think? Uh, looks like you got stung by a bee. <laughs> looks like handsome Squidward, kind of. I bought this so you can show it to that bastard Boko Park. Whoa, what are the odds? Hello. Duh, look how pretentious. He's so desperate to present himself as an artist. Just look at this painting and remember my name. It's Nari Joe, soon to be the greatest artist. Mm. It's still not good enough for me. It doesn't have a happy soul. It just looks like a Fixies painting. Damn! Damn! Can I just call you Nari? Let me teach you something, Nari. Nari, Nari, shut up and listen. Look, Nari, if you're not happy yourself, your paintings can't be happy either. That's baloney. Look at how happy this one is, Nari. <laughs> Look at how happy this one is. You're an idiot. Fix the rain's just around the corner. On top of that, my dad got fixed. Are you seriously talking about happiness in front of me? If you think you deserve to be unhappy that much, why don't you go out and get fixed right now? What? Oh, that's satisfying. I'm saying if you can't be happy as a floaty, you might be better off being a fixie. Damn, Bob. 
Think of what you still have that fixies don't. You go back there and grab your brush, and once you get once you get to appreciate that. And after that, I promise I'll be serious about your paintings. He just left. Whoa, 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 I'll still sell that. <laughs> what the heck are you looking at? No, 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 for real though. She just left. Couldn't sell it. That's too bad. It was worth a lot of money. Welcome, welcome. I'd like to buy the painting Hilarious Kraken over there. How much is it? Uh, $451. $451. Something must be wrong. Who buys this for $451? I'm buying for $41. Yeah, well, you'll be buying a bunch of nothing then. Get out. Think I'm an idiot? People just keep trying to step on me. Hi. Hey, I'm guessing Darcy's out with the fixies again. I'd like to show you something. It must have been printed during the... Damn, there's two of them, huh? It must have been printed during the arsonist fires. I guess I spoke too much in front of a natural born businessman. Yeah, let me just take a look at this. Let me just, uh, let me just take a look at this right here. Let me just take a look at this right here. Mm, slightly damaged. Correct. Mm, paper. That is that is correct. Year is correct. This has national historical value. Wow. So I get more money for that? Yeah, that's, it's worth more money. You know, I am a honest businessman and that's why I tell you things like this because I don't want you to get ripped off. I don't want you to be screwed over because a lot of people out there in this business, they will do whatever it takes to get that extra little bit of cash out of you to just squeeze you dry. Anyways, I'll pay you uh, $55 for it. Thanks to you, the price went up pretty high. I guess I'll have to accept your offer. What a fucking idiot. Oh my God. I could have probably gone lower. I could have gone lower. I could have gone lower. Just like what I expected, this place always has a look. Uh, looks like Januk of Jinxing, you know? Huh? Ice cream shaped badge. But it probably cost you more money to come in here through like public transit than you're gonna make selling this fucking thing. Hang on. I gotta get some stuff on the wall. Wallet. How much did I sell this wallet for? Appraised at one. I bought it. Okay. Uh, that'll be 180. Uh, and the wanted poster, which I bought for 55, that's worth 98, is gonna be 150. Yeah, we make a lot of money off of these things. I'm not. I, I, I'm kind of a dealsman. I make a lot of deals. All right. So what's the quality on this thing? Better. Hey, man. You know that's the thing. Is uh, this actually isn't as valueless as you seem to believe? It's only slightly damaged. Ain't that, ain't that a surprise? Look at you were gonna sell it to me for seven dollars. You were gonna sell it to me for seven dollars. It's worth like a ton more than that. Think about it. Think about it. And you know what? You know what else? You know what else? This is base metal, which is actually worth less than aluminum alloy. Sorry, bummer. Oh, I got it wrong then. Yeah, you did. No, you did. But, hey, but it was made in 1987. Which means nothing. That just means nothing. Ain't that old though? Ain't that, ain't that something? But anyway, since it's not actually uh, made out of aluminum, it's made out of base metal, I'll pay you $9 for it. If you're trying to intimidate me, please be aware that it's not going to work. I'm trying to tell you this thing was more worthless than I initially believed. If you want to increase your margin like 30%, then I'm pretty sure $19 will do. I'll pay you $15 to get out of my gut. $13 to get... $14 to get out of my store. Best I can offer. I think 16 is fair for both of us. $15. Thanks for not giving up. Yeah, no problem, man. <laughs> I just love looking at how much money I'm making off of it. 
It's just like fucking wringing my sweaty business hands. Yeah, the cute wallet in the showcase, how much is it? Oh, you know, that's gonna be going for uh, $180. Something must be wrong. Who buys this for $180? In my opinion, $67 sounds about right. Hey, lady. Lady, you should take me out to dinner before you try to fuck me like that. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Uh, how about you get out of my store? Why? I put a lot of thought into that. You're wasting a lot of my time is what you're doing. I still have a debt to pay off to society. It is listed. Uh, for fifty dollars. No, forty-five. That's never gonna sell. We gotta keep that thing realistic. This is the Association of Victims of Adverse Crimes. Oh no, did one of them? I'm here to tell you that this shop has been appointed to collect umbrellas. Oh, okay. From today, citizens will come here to sell their umbrellas. Okay. All you have to do is buy all the umbrellas and hand them over to us. So don't ever try to resell umbrellas to other citizens. If you do, you'll get arrested for an adverse crime. Is there an award by chance? The association will reward you with 50 V for each umbrella. All right, hell yeah. We'll be back next Thursday to pick up the umbrellas. Another chore? I can handle that. Hey, that, you look a little upset there. Did you just have an emotion? The painting of an hilarious kraken. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is a, you can tell this person's a real art connoisseur. $451. Why is it labeled as a failed piece of art? It's not. Can't I get this out of here? Why is it labeled as a failed piece of art? It's not worth 30. I won't allow it. Get out. All right, this is now we're going to play the brain game. Now we're going to play the brain game. Time to play the brain game. Huge sale, 350. This is what's gonna bring people in, because now they're gonna come back and they're gonna realize it's off $100, and they're gonna be like, oh my god, huge deal. This should have some archaeological value, right? Mimdos! Are you in the 21st century? Then you need this! We got Mimdos. Slightly damaged is correct. Material, paper, all right. 2,000. Which actually has uh, zero value, believe it or not. Yep, we, uh, we don't actually believe in any time before uh, the year 2028. So believe it or not, this has uh, no value. Maybe archeological? Oh, here we go. Maybe this? It's from the year 2000, which puts it before the founding period. So I think it's archeological. I think that makes it, I think that makes it legally archeological. It says archeological value. Take a look again at its production year, Bob. Oh, sorry, what I meant to say is it's valueless. You know, those made from 2000 don't have archeological value. So forget about the archaeology and just go straight to suggesting a price. Oh yeah, sorry. What I meant to say is this is worthless to me. It's actually just garbage. It's paper garbage. Uh, I'll offer you... Uh, best I can do is a $23. Sorry, you should have gotten it. You should have gotten Windows, a Mimdos 1999. Why did you not give any credit for its archaeological value? Uh, things from the year exactly 2000 don't count. And it says 2000 right on the label, dude. Hmm. So you're only taking things from the 1900s as archaeological ones? Yep. How about this then? Is that a... <laughs> Is that a Y2K poster? From the year 1999? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Yeah, that has archaeological value, man. Yeah, no, that goes up a ton. Yeah, no, 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 this thing is worth a lot of money, dude. This thing's worth a lot of fucking money. You know, dude, this thing's worth a lot of money. It's made out of, it's made out of wood too. You know, wood's actually worth more money than you realize. 
is what I would say. Oh, knock it off. What are you talking about? I guess because I guess it's the color change, but it's still technically paper, even though that's the most confusing thing ever. Uh, it's the most confusing thing ever. It's technically paper, even though it's a, even though it looks like wood. I see. What would be nice is if it let you zoom in on the image of the material here, but they don't. They only show it like you this little like zoomed out image. Wouldn't mind if they let me zoom in more. Anyways, dude, I am gonna be honest. I uh, I netted you a pretty significant net gain here, so I'm gonna say that. I'll offer you uh, seventy-five dollars for this. I'll offer you seventy-five dollars. Yeah. How's uh, how's seventy-five dollars sound? That's not what I expected. Can you offer me a bit more? Yeah, 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 yeah. How about uh, eighty-three dollars? Uh, let me think. Yeah, think long and hard about this. That fixer rain's coming real soon, man. Uh, well, uh, I'd say no. What? Wasn't expecting that. That guy's an idiot. Who needs you? They need me. I'm the only fucking pawn shop in town. The CDD recorder is being blocked, right? Can you take a look at this? Wow, what is this? Se the second tracker challenge. 2075? Oh, uh, sorry, the uh, second tracker challenge is actually um, valueless, believe it or not. It's worthless. But hey, that's okay. It's okay. We can still, we can still look into the rest of it. You know, it's actually cotton, uh, which is uh, a lie. It's much more valuable. You must be very discreet. You're not calling a price right away. It's canvas. Oh, sorry. No, it's cotton. It's cotton. It's cotton. It's cotton. Isn't that nice? To be honest, I wasn't really sure about that. Yeah, it actually makes it much more valuable. What's the condition on this thing? Perfect condition! Perfect condition! My ass! That's slightly damaged! Alright, but you know you don't need to be that thorough, right? My dignity depends on it, lady. I will pay you $75 for this. Give you 75V. Want a 30% margin? Let's stop wasting our time and settle on 83V. 81V. I don't let anyone steer the conversation. Do you understand me? Thanks for not giving up. Yeah, whatever. Get out of my business. So anyways, that's gonna be worth 160 V. <laughs> I just love like immediately bumping it up to over half the fucking value of it the second they leave. I like to buy the painting of an hilarious Kraken over there. How much is it? I'm a world famous art collector. That'll be $350. You know, it's actually on sale right now. Something must be wrong. Who buys this for $350? In my opinion, $40 sounds about right. Yeah, if you were like a fucking professional idiot, uh, where this is only for professional artists, uh, like art collectors. Uh, did you know that? It's a, it's a, like, professional art piece. Sorry, I don't think that'll be happening. Get out. Get out of my store. Get out of my store. Leave. And now? And now we power game him, okay? Now we power game him. Now we drop it to 250 as he's leaving. We're gonna fuck with his head. I know it's not worth this much. We all know it's not worth this much. But we are going to make it worth about 150 by tomorrow where someone will buy it because everyone's gonna see how much its value is dropping. And now we go back in. Hey, what's up? I'm not an expert, so I don't know its details, but you are. Can you find something? Woof, woof. Damn. That's only slightly damaged, my guy. That's way, that's in better condition than you seem to think it is. Oh, it never occurred to me. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Brings up its quality quite a bit. Now, if I had to be, mm, That's it, you know? Hey, actually, that's cowhide. Which is better than PVC. Really? I had no idea at all, thanks. No problem, no problem. Wait a minute. 
2078. Meaningless. Absolutely meaningless. All right, buddy, I'll pay you $35 for this. How about $35? If you're trying to intimidate me, please be aware that it's not going to work. Want a 30% margin? Let's stop wasting time and sell on $49. How about $43? Best I can offer. Nice, and thanks for telling me all these details so kindly. Yeah, no problem, jackass. <laughs> yeah, no problem, asshole. And... 135. <laughs> and 135. <laughs> I'd like to buy the ice cream shaped badge over there. How much is it? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? You don't, you don't look like a guy who eats much ice cream. It's $45. Sounds reasonable to me. Uh-huh! It's so easy being me, dude! It's so easy! It's so easy! Day's coming to an end. So easy. So easy. Hey, Nari's arguing with someone downstairs. Downstairs, don't you think you should do something? What? No. <laughs> what? No. I don't care. Not my problem. <laughs> hey, your niece is uh getting arrested right now. Chat, you can't relabel things. Um, and I didn't have the dating thing when uh, I got that badge. So I don't know why you're screaming about things that I cannot change. Uh, it does not matter. It just doesn't matter. It changes nothing. So making a big fuss about it is totally meaningless. Imagine. How much better the world would be if you just stopped more, you know? You're being cringe. I awaken. Pilots don't know how the game works. Yeah, I mean, it's fine to a certain extent, but when, like, people are screaming about stuff that truly, well and truly does not matter in the grand scheme of the game, it gets a little obnoxious. Because it just doesn't matter. <laughs> it just doesn't matter. Big day today. We're finally going to sell that fucking painting, ladies and gentlemen. Big day today. We've really been... Oh, it's time. Now, we drop it down to an extremely specific value, okay? 198, as if, like, we suddenly had, like, an epiphany. It's not gonna be going down in intervals of 50 anymore, it's gonna go down a very specific value. All right, because that's gonna get in people's heads. Eternally. Gosh, I barely managed to fix it. The signature detector. I'll put it on the far right side of the toolbox. What is this thing? You should click the signature detector and put it on this ball. It'll detect and show you a signature. Okay. What does that mean for me? Wow. Good. So I gotta, like, check for celebrity signatures now? Oh, my God. Well, I see it. These are celebrity types. We need the list of celebrity signatures first on the next page. I understand. I already get it. I get it. It's this one. But because I'm moving too fast, it... Yeah, the signatures match. I, I figured it out. Now you have to go figure out what type of... What type song we know is. Okay. Well, he's, uh... He's a tennis player. 
Uh, he threw roughly 1,000 tennis balls into the sea, which is considered very common. This is a common item. What are you talking about? Well, he's a, uh, he's a fucking, he's an, he's a goddamn national hero guy. <laughs> he's an athlete. Good. Now read his description once again. He, it's common. He's a normal guy. It's like extremely common. He, he made a thousand of them. Good job. Okay, so there's forges. There, there are forgeries. Okay. Who, what kind of sicko would fake a signature? Okay, what kind of, what kind of sicko would fake a signature? I'm... <sighs> oh, did something happen to Nari? She looked a bit different somehow. It seems like she's more motivated than before. She, yeah, she was, I told you, she was having a fight with someone uh, outside the store. To me, it was great to see my granddaughter daughter in a bright mood anyway. Goodbye, Darcy. Maybe forever. Finally, it's time. Let's sell that fucking painting. Captivating cat collar. How much is it? It's one hundred thirty-five dollars. <laughs> what? Darcy's changed. You paid one hundred thirty-five dollars for this. I'll buy it right away if it's fifty-eight dollars. <clears throat> I'm sorry. What did you just say? How about you? Listen, lady. Because I'm looking around right now. I'm looking around. I'm looking around. And if you want to fuck me, okay. <laughs> If you wanna fuck me, you we better make sure I pull the blinds down on these windows at least, all right? Because at this point, we're gonna have a whole audience so you fuck me, okay? And I don't want <laughs> Get out! Get out of my store! Get out now! Get out now! <laughs> Leave! Leave now! Why do people keep trying to rip me off? Hi. I'm guessing Darcy's out with the fixies again. Could you buy this one off me? Whoa. Is that, four, is that 14 karat gold? Perfect mint condition. That's about right. That's, uh... Actually... That's, um... That's 24 karat gold, actually. To be honest, I wasn't really sure about that part. Yeah, yeah, that's 24 karat gold. It's also, um, 2045. Totally unremarkable in any way. Any signatures? No signature found. All right, my guy, here's the deal, okay? I'm willing to pay you. <clears throat> $375. Yeah, I'm thinking about it quite a bit. $375. Thanks to you, the price went up pretty high. I guess I'll have to accept your offer. Yeah, I guess you will. <laughs> yeah, I guess you will. I guess you will have to accept my offer, offer man. So anyways, I uh, list this for um, $850. Mm, $900. It's pure gold. It's pure gold. <laughs> it's pure gold. Hey, it was my birthday present. Can you please tell me how much it's worth? <clears throat> Got an umbrella? Wait, if I'm just buying them off of people for nothing, and then selling them to the people for $50, I want it to be as valueless and worthless as possible. So we want to keep it valueless, even if it's not. Because I have to buy it and then hang on to it. But your rep, though. What about my rep? My rep hasn't changed in 30 years because of all of my crazy business tactics. Okay. None of it matters. It don't matter. What matters is the bottom line. And I owe a lot of people a lot of money. Yeah, I'll buy this for, uh, yeah, this looks like a pretty good, uh, umbrella. I'll buy it out for you for five dollars. 
I said I'll buy it off of you for five dollars. Son, this is contraband. Do you understand? I could get thrown in jail for a lot. I'll give it to you for six dollars final offer. And then when those people come by later, I'll make uh forty-four dollars off it. What do you think? A famous person signed this one. Is that a fucking tamago? Yo! Hold up, man. You gotta be kidding me, that's a goddamn tamago. What's the quality on this thing? Cause it's weird. Cause you walked in here. It's weird. It's 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 just so weird. It's weird. Cause you walked in here and you said it was in perfect condition, and there's this big scratch all over the back. Do you see this? Do you see this? It's, it's this big scratch all over the back. Uh, like this huge scratch. I point to a scratch. It's indecipherable from the human eye. Like you can't. You just can't see the scratch. There's this huge fucking scratch here. Do you see this huge fucking scratch? The huge one. And you want and you want me to buy it for like it's perfect. Is this Tamago dead? <laughs> it's worth more if the Tamago didn't die. Cause uh it actually does produce a smell. It produces a realistic the, these old school Tamagos, these Tamagos from the year 2072, they actually have a smell of vision thing. Uh, that makes it smell like a dead body when it fucking dies. And um we we try to avoid selling those. People people really don't like them. They just don't like them. They don't like them. The mm, this is plastic. Let's see that signature. Okay. That's uh that's gonna be Su Young No. A swimmer who missed an international match because he was sleeping. AVAC accused him of sleeping too much, forcing him to spend a month in prison. His signed goods will hurt your store reputation. What the fuck you bringing into my store, kid? You know, I'm gonna get in big trouble with this. If it displayed more than two days in a row, its likability will decrease. Well, look, I'll take it off your hands because I'm trying to help you. Okay? I'm gonna sell for garbage. This will hurt my store reputation. Okay. Fine, but you're splitting hairs. You didn't really do a survey or anything. I literally just did. I I literally did. I I literally did. But it's an athlete, so there's that going for it. He cannot be considered an athlete anymore. Oh, sorry. What I meant to say is uh, he's a criminal. <laughs> oh, but I. <laughs> Man, I gotta get you out of here. My reputation has climbed. That's gonna be 2% expertness on Darcy's. People love it. People love knowing that I'm giving them the right the right thing. So yeah, this went from being a handheld uh, game worth uh, $92 to being a dead Tamago corpse worth... Man, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I'll pay you $2 to get out of my store. I, I wouldn't say I like it. Can you explain how you came up with that price? Dude, this thing is worth less. I wouldn't wipe my ass with this thing. My ass deserves better. <laughs> All right. I will pay you four dollars. But I need more. I will pay you five dollars. Five. Or get out. You know that's not enough. It's gonna be five. Is that your final offer? Yeah. Yeah, it is. All right, but it doesn't mean I'm happy. I do not care. I do not care. I do not care. I just do not care. This is a vintage collector's item for real. Uh, real cutting edge. Risky, edgy collectors. We're gonna have this one listed for $20. Yeah. Yeah. 
got to get out of here. Got to lock that so I don't try to sell it. Oh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Those unpopular with a bad reputation make even the most popular and reputable bands products less so. Of course, it's good when unpopular things get popular due to signatures, but you know, I might be able to make more money for it if I just sell it at the junk place. We'll give it a day. If it doesn't sell, then we're going to just sell it at the junk place. I'd like to buy the wanted poster of an arsonist over there. How much? Uh, wh why? Why do you want it? It's $150. Something must be wrong. Who buys this for $150? i will buy it for $91. B. Why'd that bring my reputation up? Oh, I actually lost it. Wait, no. Huh. How much was it? 91? Appraised at 98? Hey, man. Get out. I just love the faces. I, it wasn't a bad offer. Nah, 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 nah. For real though, leave. Get out of my store. Leave right now. What's up? Whoa. It was my birthday present. Can you please tell me how much it's worth? Sweet. It's pocket mommy. Put pocket mommy in your pocket. She'll nag you 24 hours a day. What the fuck is this? What'd you just give me? Slightly damaged. What the hell's pocket mommy? It's only slightly damaged now. Whoa! This thing's worth a lot of money! What the hell? What the fuck's going on with pocket mommy? Wild. <laughs> Alright, uh, well. What kind of, what kind of material are we looking at here? Yeah, it's plastic. 2074. Wait a minute. Could this have been the Pocket Mommy? From the Tracker Challenge? Measures human emotions. Dude, have you ever worn this thing or had it in your pocket and felt it uh, fucking up your human brain? This isn't a bracelet, it goes in your pocket. But it could be a tracker. I don't think so, but I am willing to reach if it brings up its value. Man, this is the pocket mommy. It's a, na it's a national treasure. I swear to God, if you fucks me up on this one. Oh, don't be silly, dude! I was willing to pay you more for it. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? I was willing to like enter into this lie with you. It's not signed. All right, well, uh, you're an idiot, for starters, because you're going to get paid more for it. Uh, I'm willing to pay you a uh, smooth uh, $220. Uh, you know what? I'm feeling generous today. $240. How about $240? Good. And it was so great to know every detail about this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a mint condition pocket mommy here on the market today, going up for a smooth $450. What a fucking idiot. How much is the cute wallet? Oh, you know, $180. Something must be wrong. Who buys this for $180? People with money. Dude, why do I keep getting fucking idiots in here? Like, that are, that are like trying to get out. People with money, buy it. Okay, my guy? People with money show up. Stop lowballing me. At least try to meet me somewhere close. Why are there so many pores coming into this building? <laughs> Finally, look at you. There's a limited edition candle. Can you take a look at it? Yeah, sure. Did you say candle or calendar? <laughs> Did I misread it? Did he say candle or calendar? I thought I saw a candle. All right, I'm gonna check the signature, don't worry. I thought I saw a candle. This is not a- Son, this is a big ass candle. That's a lot of wax. Mint condition, perfect condition. All right. Dude, shut the- Huey, shut the fuck up. Huey, shut the fuck up now. 2019. All right. Huey, shut the fuck up. Is it true that this is Jisoo Huang's signature? No, this is Sosu Lee, a potter. He 
see it's slightly different from Jisoo Huang's signature on the list. A stroke is missing on the top right. Well, to me, it seems some of his lower strokes are bent the wrong way. That's also not the person you're talking about. That's So So Lee. I'm very confused by what you're saying. But yeah, this ain't real. This is, uh... This is, uh, this is a uh, fake signature, man. It's actually, you know, it's actually now ruined. It's ruined. It's actually very, it's lost almost all of its value. Yeah, no one likes koalas. Also, you faked the signature of the wrong person. <laughs> you faked, did you know that you faked the signature of like a professional pottery guy? A guy that just makes like pots? This is a fake candle. This is a fake koala candle. What kind of business do you think I'm running? I'll buy it off, the, I'll buy this garbage off of you, okay? For sixty-two dollars. Just give me seventy then. You can still leave a margin with it. Sixty-five. Sixty-five dollars. Okay, final offer. Best I can do. Thanks for adding some more, Vana, but Oh wait, wait. How about sixty-six then? Wow, did every fucking synapse in your brain just fire for that one guy? Alright. Sure. Damn, dude. I can see, I see, I think I see blood coming out of your ears. Are you okay? There it goes. Almost happening. I'd like to buy the cute wallet over there. How much is it? Can we knock out like an idiot ask for the wallet? People are obsessed with the fucking wallet. People are obsessed with the wallet, but they keep lowballing it. So I gotta get rid of this fucking wallet, dude. Hang on, I gotta like change the price of this wallet. People keep coming in obsessed with the wallet and then trying to rip me off. Like everyone just comes in and lowballs the wallet. They're not even looking at the other stuff in the fucking building. No one's wanted to buy the painting in years because everyone's obsessed with the fucking cute wallet. All right, we're dropping the price to 165. I don't know why people are wasting all my time with this fucking wallet. I wanna buy the Tamago. Can I see one? This is a mint condition tamago with no problems, lady. No problems, no issues. Um. Perfect. How much does it cost? Thirty dollars. Just put it back. I can't afford $30. <laughs> Damn it! I was just trying to get her. <laughs> I know it's bad to have, but she didn't know. She didn't know it's value. I was just trying to. I was just trying to get. <laughs> she didn't know I thought I could get something out of this, like, piece of shit. Oh, what is this? What is this? What's the wanted poster? How much was this going for? For $95. She wants to buy it for 95. I literally won't do it. Get out. Everyone needs to look at the bit, like the price of the things on the fucking store and stop trying to come in and be like, I'll pay you like less than its actual market value if you bought it. Ah, please come in. One of my friends gave me this. A taxidermy butterfly. Slightly damaged. Profits plummeting. I'm just building up stock. Don't worry. I gotta drop the value of this thing. I really gotta fucking drop the value so I can actually buy it. Or I'll have to tell him he has to leave. It's wood. 2067. I won't even be able to buy this thing unless I lowball him like hard. No signature. All right, man. I can buy this off of you. For $170, I literally cannot do better. You can't chat. You cannot haggle on offers that people give you when they come in to buy something. So be quiet. You literally cannot do it. You literally can't. How much is the soft towel? $160. That's a bit too much for this one. In my opinion, $99 sounds about... Dude, 
Like this is what, like, I don't know why I've just gotten really bad luck with everyone being fucking pieces of shit lately. But like, this is unbelievable. Like I am just not getting anyone that actually wants to like give me a decent price. Everyone's trying to fuck me. I'd rather die. I'd rather game over. All right, I'd rather hang on to my $3. Fuck you, I spit in his eye. It's all right, Chad, we're gonna get someone that's gonna buy those fucking captivating cat collar. Here we go. $135. This one's pretty, this one is insane. I won't do it. I won't do it. I will not do it, but I will lower the price of that a little bit. But I will, I genuinely will not cave to these people and start selling things just to make money. I won't do it. I am a stand up business. Okay? I'm an honest, hard working man. $110. Cat collar is on sale. While the Association of Victims of Everest is searching for the Burnt Down Institute, friends of the four missing are now willing to pay to find them. A person looking for Sang Su An is a, forest is a foreign businessman. He has promised to pay 15,000 V to find Mr. An. Uh, okay, 8,000. Shin Su Cha, 5,000. The reward for the, myth the last missing person, Yang Do, is relatively small. AVAC is offering a $1,000 award to find him, hoping he could lead to, uh, okay. Dude, can we get like someone please here to? I'm not gonna be able to pay my interest. Am I game overing? Is it over? Cause I just realized I'm gonna have to owe that. I'm gonna have to owe him $15 when I wake up. Surely he's not going to kick me out, surely. Or I can just go to the junk place. Can I sell my... When do I get to sell my junk? Because I don't know if I do it in the morning or the evening. Well, apparently it's in the evening. Or morning. Dude, I think I just got really bad luck. I don't think all of that was just me overselling the values. I think genuinely I got fucked by RNG. Uh, a little bit today. Because I was getting really good deals on stuff. Doing exactly what I was doing right then. A couple days ago. Like, I wasn't having any problems. So it feels like it's sort of a mix of the two, where some of it might have been, you know, me overselling a little bit. But also, people were trying to fuck me. Like, literally fuck me. Like, this is, like, offering me things that were, like, fucking 30% lower than its actual market value. I didn't sell anything today. <laughs> uh, so it's gonna be interesting, uh... A fire begins to spread everywhere. The smoke is filling up the ceiling clouds my mind. Uh, uh, the smoke filling up the ceiling clouds my mind. Will I be able to get through that? What's happening? Suddenly I recall the tiny apartment where my family of seven live together. On one insanely cold day, a fire broke out there. And then now, my money still holds me back. I have no money. Old man's not gonna fuck me. I don't think. I don't think he's gonna screw me up. I think I'm gonna be okay. But I probably need to make sure I sell some things today. We are happy to share some good news with you at the beginning of this week. While cleaning up the Citizens Alliance Research Institute burned down in a disaster fire, we found the core technical files on Fixerain. The files are being restored, and we're expecting to resume the downpour of Fixerain in no more than a week in Ajax City. That's good news! Fixerain will be upon us again, AVAC. will not miss the chance. Thank you. That's good news! Chad. I gotta go pick up my uh, passport. My ID. Today, which I already paid for, which by the way is why I'm low on fucking money. Yeah, my debt's gone higher. Wait, why can I not pick up my... Do I not have to give it to him yet? I thought I had to pick up the ID today. He sleeps in the day. So am I just fucked? Might just be fucked. You missed it last night. Dude. Well, I mean, it's almost end of stream time anyways, I guess. But, uh... That'd be kind of a bummer. Because he said he would put it in my inventory. We have a bounty board now. Oh, there it is. Alright, awesome. I can sell this. <laughs> All right, once the people leave, I'll just sell it. 
Everything's gonna be fine. Mr. Bob Joe? What's up? You're supposed to submit your identification to papers today, Mr. Joe. Have you prepared your papers? <clears throat> How would you like a... Uh... Okay, here you go. Let me... Oh, check. Hmm. All right. Thank you for your cooperation. No, no problem. Selling fresh forged identification papers on sale now for $150. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just joking. <laughs> I paid too much money for those to sell them. You're allergic to metals, aren't you? Like, I can't buy this. I don't have any money. Get, I don't, I literally cannot buy things. Do I have to do something anyways? What am I, what do you want me to do? No hue with better eyes than me. See, this is made of Wicatanis wood. It's ever brown. Everbrown, a brand that is so unpopular that even AVAC doesn't give a dang about it. Damn, man. They sometimes even leave out their slogan to hide the brand name. The products aren't very durable. They might look fine now, but they turn to trash any moment. So what? It means you have to check one more thing during the appraisal, Bob. It's brand. We gotta check its brand. All right, I'll check its brand. All right, list of brands. Where the hell are they? Hmm, list of brands. Where the hell are these? F, B, come on, go to the brand page and find Everbrown. I'm looking, I'm looking, I just, there it is. Yep, that's Everbrown. Now take out the card named Everbrown. Wow, that genuinely does make it almost worthless. Huh. You're making me all frustrated. It's Everbrown. Yep. What's taking so long? You better make it worth the wait. Okay. So there's the material. That's Wicatanis wood. Now pull out a card from the sentence. Most products crack in less than a year. Wow. Yeah, and I might be able to afford this with my $3 left. This is potential garbage. One that says selling this product is an excellent way to lose rep rep reputation. Okay, hang on. Brands, uh, list of brands, Everbrown. Lower 50%, this will hurt my store reputation. Okay, $7. Uh, she's getting angry and she's leaving. Get out of my building, just leave. All right, chat, we gotta make some money today. We need to make money today. We have to sell something. Can we please have like a normal person come in to buy something? Wanted poster of an arsonist. All right, here we go. $150. Here we fucking go. Oh, oh, thank God, dude. Thank fucking God, a normal person. All right, good shit. We're starting to sell things. We gotta sell that Tamagotchi. Breaking news, magic magic. The Association of Victims of Adverse Crimes has announced a new fine policy. The new policy states the fine to be paid to prove apathy is determined now by the amount of assets owned. For this, AVAC has came up with a new concept called reunication rate. The reunication, renunication rate refers to the percentage of property that must be given up to prove your apathy. If the renunication rate is 10% that the property is 10,000 V, then the property will be 1,000. I'm just going to skip all this because I don't understand it. Just like real life. I'd rather die than have you take my fucking golden dice, all right? I will kill you here. Don't worry, I'm not here to take you in. I have a favor to ask of you. 
Huh? I investigate these names on a list, people who are against Trixerain. Yonki Mo, he's an actor. He loves recognize he loved to be recognized and be the center of attention. He was outright against Trixerain, saying no one would recognize him or like him anymore. Next is Professor Yonki Choi. This man is explicitly against Trixer. You do not know who you you do know he's on a solo protest, don't you? He's against every single one of our policies. He's the most dangerous one. The last is San Gong. A new member of our association. I believe you've met her before, but I can't find where she's from. Who her family and friends are? Nothing. However, I can't tell. Uh, I, I missed that. But first, I want you to take care of Yonggi, Mo, and Professor Choi, these two. If these two come in to sell anything, tell them you'll pay a lot. What I'm saying is offer them at least double the appraisal rate, and I want it done this week. Lady, I literally can't afford to do that, and I won't do it. I literally can't do that. I genuinely can't afford to do that. I don't have that kind of money. How much is the soft towel? Six hundred, one hundred sixty dollars. That's a bit too much for this one. In my opinion, one hundred fifteen sounds right. In my opinion, you should fuck off right now. Leave. Mhm. Mm Hold on, Bob. There's a problem. It seems that the woman who tried to sell us Everbrown ring is backbiting us. The citizen discourse data says she's telling people we called her ring garbage. Doesn't she get it's a trashy ring and it's owner to t and it's the jo owner's job to take the blame? But they're always th there's always people like her. They're so malicious. Fortunately, I don't see any change with the attractiveness of Darcy's card. However, we people we care about that. I've never cared. Oh, I guess now I should care. I just don't. We've got a. One point. We got two stars on Yelp right now. Our Yelp is our Yelp review is diving, man. It's just diving. I'm not an expert. I don't know the details, but you can find something, right? What is this, an umbrella? Gotta make this as worthless as possible by any means necessary. Leave it at fairly damaged. I don't care. Stainless steel. God damn! If only I could lie. Twenty seventy nine. Huh, that's from the... That's from, that was made during the fixiness. Dude, I... You know what, dude? Get out of my store. I don't, I don't even want it. I, it's gonna cost too much money, and I'm not gonna make my money back get, uh, with the people fucking buying it from me. Like, the government people. Like, there's a certain threshold where I can't do it. How much is the painting of the hilarious Kraken? Wouldn't you like to know? It's $198. What? Darcy's changed. Who pays 198 for this? I'll buy it right away if it's 34. Yeah, well, you're gonna leave with empty hands, lady. You're gonna leave with empty hands. You'll be back. They all come back. They all come back. They all come back. Oh, do you need any help? No, no, no. I was wondering whether I could trust your recommendations. Truth is, I'm in the ge graphology club, and the club meeting is on Monday, so I came to see a recommendation on something with a signature for today's meeting, but it occurred to me that your recommendation might fall short of my expectations. If your recommendation turns out to be reliable, I'll come back. What just happened? What just happened? What? Huh? Bob, you heard the news that AVAC found the fixer in tech files, huh? Is this guy again? And that AVAC can pour fixer rain onto this city as early as the weekend. This is the time for our union to step up. We got a larger protest against the fixer rain. I know AVAC has never told us they would stop the fixer rain project forever, but it's outrageous that they just start without giving us. A, a, dude, I really wish this game didn't auto continue dialogue. It feels like I have to race the game. I've already asked all the other merchant members, and all of them, except you, said they would come every evening, and Professor Choi will be there too, you know. He's been there for weeks now. So, what do you say, Bob? Are you gonna be with us? Nah, I don't really feel like it. Uh, I did not expect you to say that. This is embarrassing. Yeah, it's, not, it's a, lot, a lot going on, dude. If you change your mind, just come to the first floor of Fountain Square straight after work. No need to bring anything. If you come, we'll be able to say that all the members are against Fixer Rain. Then AVAC can't ignore what we say, and then the citizens will pay more attention to us. Please consider it. I just don't feel like it. You can probably turn it off, but I can't because I've already checked that because we're four hours into the stream. So, of course, I've checked it. Do you want to buy this? 130 V. Well, that's higher than I appraised it for. Uh, so I actually will accept that. 
Someone's actually not fu tr fully trying to rip me off, and I do need to move some stuff. Two more news reports. First up, after being arrested for excessive perfume use, a woman countersued the AVAC member who arrested her. That woman said he was holding a huge piece of bread when he arrested me, claiming eating such a huge piece of bread alone is also avarice. On this matter, Professor Yonggi Choi, who's a solo protest, uh, said my worries came true, saying this is why I'm crying for clear guidelines on avarice crime. Choi is also making another claim of his own, that AVAC is developing a new technology to replace artificial rainfall. AVAC, AVAC, however, has made no comment on the claim. Next up, more than 2,000 citizens are suffering severe cold symptoms after the rain last week. The number of acute pneumonia deaths has tallied up to 16. Uh, apparently, the uh, Avarice Crimes group has uh, felt sorrow for their death, but umbrellas are not allowed. Even still. I'd like to buy the painting. Oh, yeah? $198. $41. Chat, do I just get rid of this fucking thing? Because I feel like it's distracting people from, like, my actually good items. And people are now actually valuing it at higher than the appraisal. I think I gotta just get rid of it. His feelings. Yeah, I just don't care about him. Okay. It's fine. It's garbage. I didn't pay for it. One of my friends gave this to me. Book, The Origin of Avarice Crimes. That's perfect condition. What are you talking about? It's perfect condition, man. That's perfect condition, that thing. It's a lovely, lovely paper. But you already knew that. 2075? Which is worthless. That doesn't mean anything. Any signature? Mm, yes. Mm, yes, that's Manjo Mu, current leader of a civic group, the Association of Victims of Avarice Crime. Civic group, that's a politician. Uh, or, uh, no, that's an activist. That's an activist. That's worth a lot of money, this thing. This thing's worth a lot of money, lady. I'll pay you $35 for it. Mm-hmm. Seriously? But you can make me a higher offer than that. You're right, you're right. I'm holding out on you. I'm holding out on you. I probably should have checked something else anyways. I forgot I have a new thing. I don't know how to... No, this doesn't have anything like that. I forgot about the brand thing, but I don't think I can check that. I'm gonna raise you up to $40. 40 will do. Thanks for adding some more Vana, but come on, I know you're getting I know you're generous. <sighs> 41. Nice! And thanks for telling me all these details so kindly. Yeah, no problem. Always happy to help. Always happy to help. Uh hi. You're here today, too. Darcy didn't catch a cold, did he? Uh, can I sell this? A motion tracker for kids. Oh, I knew it. A real hunter is fixated only on the target. I'll stop talk. I'll stop talking. Go ahead. It's perfect condition. I think five, 353 would be good. That's what they think. Let's see what I think. How about you shut up and let me do my goddamn job? All right. No signatures found. This thing's not signed. <laughs> Strange. Well, it's an emotion tracker for kids. Uh, I'm willing to, uh, no, 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 no. I'll pay you 310 for it. I'll pay you 310 for it. Oh, I don't even have enough for that. I'll pay you 283 uh, for it. How's 283 for, uh, sound for you? I see we both have opinions, so why don't we just settle at 318? <clears throat> I will pay you, as I just said, 283 for it. Final offer. You not want a bargain? <clears throat> I'm sweating. I'm sweating a lot. All right, but it doesn't mean I'm happy. Wait, really? Ha! Huh, fucking idiot! 
fucking moron! You goddamn moron! I gotta list a bunch of stuff today. Six hundred. No. Five thirty. Huge deal. Huge deal. Huge gains. This one? One hundred. Gotta keep my ID. This right here? Uh, two eighty. Balazongus. Huge. Gigantic huge. Lots of money about to be made from me. This guy just got fucked over. Hey, Bob. I'm really curious. Are you here to run our business into the ground? Is that it? Or is Darcy your secret arch enemy or something? I have nowhere else to go. I don't want to say goodbye to Darcy. I do truly wish you would die. I do- Hugh, I really do truly wish you would die. I'd like to buy the taxidermy butterfly over there. How much is it? $280. Sorry, $28. Sorry, $80. $200 sounds more real. Yeah, well, you can go to hell. All right? That, that's actually priced very reasonably. Get out. Get out now. God, I gotta get rid of this. I gotta get rid of the Tamagotchi. Oh, you're someone I gotta call the police on, right? This is Darcy's second son, Bob. He's temporarily under my wing. Shut up, Huey. Bluebird, uh, you didn't come back for Fixer. You didn't come back for Fixer, did you? Uh, since I'm here on important business, can you spare a few minutes for me? This is a guy that they want me to lie about something. They want me to lie about something, right? That was the thing. And then might be I will go there this weekend and look for any clues about the antidote. I need you to bring me two things to get inside there. First thing is I'm not doing any What is what is this? The other thing's a time cinema which I invented myself. Does this guy want me to like get him things for him to like break into a government facility? I'm not doing that. Dude, I have no money. I can't do this. I genuinely can't help you. Nor do I plan to. Please help me get an AVAC ID card in my time cinema back by this Friday. I won't be helping and I can't. But you didn't listen to me when I said that, did you? You just left. How much is the sweet pocket, mommy? $450. That's a bit too much for this one. 342 sounds good. Dude, I'm actually... Here's the thing. This one's actually a pretty good deal because I bought it at 240. I'm going to accept. Because I'm at zero dollars. And I'm making more than the appraisal. Is this authentic easy enough? Let's get easy. Easy enough. Yeah, I'll see about that. Let's see here. It's canvas. Can you guys stop talking? Can you guys shut up? It's canvas. Everyone stop talking. Everyone shut the hell up. Let me go check e Let me go check the brands. So you're easy enough. Uh It didn't look like authentic. Some of its products have soldiers' names and those who believe in the rumor collect them. None of these look like it at all, lady, is the thing. So uh, I'm going to have to be honest. Considering what I'm seeing here isn't anything like what I'm seeing over there. This is not authentic. Matter of fact... Uh, this is just wrong. It's just missing the entire... This thing just doesn't have a brand. I'd like to erase the brand info. What's the reason? Bob, go to the brand page in manual. There are five reasons you can use to remove the brand card. It's just missing the whole thing, lady. I just don't know what to tell you. I'll just get rid of that entirely. Yeah, okay. Let's check the rest now. Condition. Slightly damaged, sounds about right. Everything else is fine. 2068, nothing there. No signature. This is just like garbage. I don't know what to tell you. I'll buy it for uh, $38. Just give me 39 then. You can still leave a margin with it. I am not going up $1 for you, all right? I won't go up one. 38 is the offer. Take it or get out. Stop embarrassing yourself. 
Do you not want a bargain? Not particularly. Okay, but I'd like to make it clear this isn't what I expected. You didn't expect to not get one dollar! Huh? Didn't expect one dollar short? You really banking on that to get home? No money for the bus? Hello, good to see you. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'd like to show you something. It's not very valuable, but nice. This article shows that politicians have always been utterly useless. See? Fish did it. Sorry, I talk too much. Every minute counts for you. Yeah, it does. It's not in perfect condition. It's slightly damaged for starters. It's paper. 2044. It's not touched it. Second big hate on Bluebird. Yeah, that's second big. That's a historical moment. Right there. National historical value. Uh, unfortunately, it's also going to uh, hurt my store reputation. Bluebird products produce. Oh no, Bluebird products, not the not the thing. Just products. Just products. It's my bad. Sorry, ma'am. Any signatures? Uh, a fake signature. A fake signature. Uh, is what I would say. It's a fake signature. Sorry. It's gonna bring down its quality. And that's gonna put it out a value of, and I don't mean to seem like I'm undercutting you here. Uh, $27. 27 for Want a 30% margin? $30. I'll give you 28 for wasting my time. So you can get the bus home like the last one. You know that's absurd. No matter what, I'm not going to change my mind. All right, then. I'll pay you 29 for it. Best I can offer. I knew this would be fair for both of us. Okay, I changed my mind. You're pathetic. You know that? You're pathetic. She backed down. <laughs> The game console Tamago showcase, how much is it? Uh, $7. Something must be wrong. Who buys this for $20? Oh yeah, shit, I just did say out loud its actual value, $8. You know what, I need to get it out of here. It's actually like bad for my business. Yeah, you can have that, it's cursed. It's cursed. That thing's cursed. You did a great job with the fake ID, since you might accidentally sell it or lose it if you keep it here. Let me keep it safe for you. I was going to sell it today. And here's another task waiting for you. This time you have to get a business registration without it. You running this shop for more than two weeks is illegal. It's not complicated. Just go to the stabilizer's office and pay the registration fee by this Friday. The stabilizer is not there after work, so make sure to see him in the morning. The registration fee will be, I don't have that kind of money. I don't, I, I genuinely can't afford it. I can't. Day's coming to an end. What a beautiful day. And what a beautiful time to end the stream, dude. This game is fun. Uh, I definitely won't be beating it. It's like very long, apparently. But I had a good time. I had a good time. I had a good, I never got to pay off my debt. But I did sell a lot of garbage, and I did rip a lot of people off, and that was worth it for me. I had fun. This was a fun game. These kinds of papers, please style games always make me happy. But anyways, Chad, I will see you all later. I'm out. Uh, I am done. Thank you for the bits and donations. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, thanks anyone that gifted the sub as well. I'll be back tomorrow, 3 p.m. EST. Goodbye, chat. Goodbye. Goodbye.